let's see. I think I'll move the camera down there. Uh, not quite sure where to put the camera yet, so we'll, we'll put it there. And if, if we have to move it, I'll move it. Because I noticed the controls came up and it covered it up. So I've just looked at the controls uh, and the options, really. So uh, still not coming through live yet. So we we'll just check it's coming through live. It takes a while sometimes. So we'll be there in a minute. All right, here we go. Right. And just say I'll set the language in it so that because um, I don't know whether you've got the option to do you know the captions or whatever it is uh, I'm not sure whether it does that or not uh, when you're live or where it's just afterwards so I'll tick it anyway so just give me a couple of minutes while I, I do that uh, and I just put them in location we should enable that to come up uh, recording date today okay right I think we're no that's wrong <laughs> it put oil instead of UK yeah you could say that's a slight mistake <laughs> right okay let's save that and then we'll grab the link and I'll be able to see if you know when people come in uh, and you, well, you may have already come in. Hello. So, oh, uh, hello, Ghost. Hello. How are you? Uh, welcome back. <laughs> it's great to be back again, isn't it? <laughs> well, uh, I must admit, I'm glad to be back now. I, I kind of missed it a little bit. <laughs> so, uh, hello, Ghost. Uh, is the sound coming through now, or do I have to press that button? Uh, <laughs> do I have to press the button? Can you hear me? There's no sound on the game because I've turned the sound down. I've turned the music down because sometimes when you leave the, the front screen on, it um, you know it says oh it's copyrighted. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I sometimes leave that off because while you're staring at that screen, while I'm just setting things up and the music's playing, you know it comes up with uh, you know you could this could be copyrighted. So I thought I'd turn it off and then we'll turn it back on in a minute just as we press the button to start. <laughs> so uh, thanks, thanks for coming in, Ghost. Uh, a new adventure. You have good news. Oh, please give me some good news, Ghost. Please. <laughs> okay. I mean, I've got you know all I have is bad news. So uh, you know, good news will raise the tone of the stream <laughs> immensely. Right, let me take this off. <laughs> you got rid of the corrupted f uh, save files. Yeah, I don't get that option, so uh, I'm glad you, you've got that sorted out. Uh, I can't get mine to work because I, I get, uh, you know, as, as soon as it loads in, it comes up with press OK to continue. It says it's corrupted and then, so I can't do anything until I press OK. As soon as you press OK, then it, 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 it stop. you know, it ends it and goes straight back to the main menu. So I can't actually do a save. Right, have they done an update? Because my Xbox is actually um, keeping its load order for the first time in a while. So uh, it's not working on Xbox, on uh, PlayStation. Unfortunately, none of my mods are keeping in the correct place. So on PlayStation, every time I go back and go back in, there was an update. When, when was this update? Was it a quiet, silent one or something? Well, that would be quite of silent isn't it? <laughs> so uh okay let's let's get ready to start then new adventure skyrim well I, I, i'm pretty sure i'll be doing that on saturday so we'll get back to skyrim and um saruman i wasn't really in the mood to do a saruman so that's why i left it so let me just turn the music back on uh master volume is still you know pretty high there so we'll just turn the this one on Save the tape. So really, I, this is as far as I've got. I haven't actually pressed this button to start at all. So I don't know how this starts or, or whatever. So let's get started. But I'm glad yours is sorted out. But I'm getting more crashes on my PlayStation with Skyrim. What's that? Conviction in the human will... Vision who reaches for something. I didn't quite read that. 
Right, hang on. Oh, hang on, this does seem rather quiet. Oh, I can't pause it. Okay, carry on then. Uh, how do I... Oh, it's pause and I don't know how to go back. Yes. How, do, how does it go back? Uh, <laughs> uh, can you tell me it's unpause? Oh, right, that one. So music's right down at the moment. Oh right, I see. Could see a model list. I could see model list, but it's just. Guess. Lend me your ears. Long as our favorite man suffered, without a true monarch to guide her and her people. Decades have passed since last His Majesty Erland sat atop the Draken throne. Long have we endured. Yet it has not been for naught. Good. At last! The bell has tolled on the age of the council. At last! We may celebrate the coming of our rightful ruler. <laughs> the return of the sovereign. <laughs> My word! Such an inspiring visage! Your Majesty shall have my eternal yeah, fealty. No Your Majesty, eternal. oh how long I have awaited this Okay, okay everybody hear the game alright? Seems a little bit quiet to me, but could be my headphone volume. <laughs> I would like to start on a seat. <laughs> What's well, a nice start? Behold, before you sits the rightful inheritor of the Dragon Throne, chosen by the Dragon as its enemy. Behold, a rejoice! Fortune has delivered us our savior at last. Yes! Praise be, for only the Sovereign's guidance can lead us true. All hail the Sovereign! All Great, hail! I'm glad, Ghost, I'm glad, I'm Let glad. Present, pledge your allegiance to the Sovereign. Let us be united in the hope that our allegiance reign when they Yeah, are... yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'll, I'll turn out. the Sovereign of Vermont! Uh-oh. Thou who wouldst slay the dragon. If thou seekest to behold this world in its true aspect, abandon thy reason. Cast aside thine heart and thy life both. <laughs> Help. I ask thee to demonstrate thy will. For naught but thine ambition can alter the course of the rivers of fate. Well, I'm ambitious. <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> wow, it's not like the Starfield beginning, is it? <laughs> well, it's a completely different start. I'll give it that than the first one. Is that me? That's the point, I haven't asked me uh, my character yet. Yeah? Let's take it as now. Now, which one of you was it? No need to be shy. I've just got to take down a record of your name and face. Come on. All right, let's put over choose. So it, sh it should be chosen. You can use select a prisoner to use as a preset or select the hooded prisoner to customise your character. You're still in the... I wonder why it just keeps cutting off the text there. You're still in the movie. Okay, so...
Well, I, I want to customize it. It should already be done. I thought I recognized you. Hang on, hang on. Not you then. Fie. Whichever Where is my uh, build? No. Mm, it's hard to say. Where, where is the build that I made? If the pawn I'm looking for doesn't come forward soon, they'll be. Are you the one then? There's no mistaking it. You're the one. I'm out. Go by that. Yes. Oh, good. Right. Okay. Right. We'll change the clothing. So, right. Okay. Okay. I was a bit worried there. I thought for a minute we were starting again. So I pre pre done it. So this is the one that we did the other day, and uh, you know we can have a you know a good look. And um, it's like quite cute kind of elf elf kind of look. So we're doing an archer build, and um, you know, with some magic. So eventually, although we start off as an archer, eventually we're going to move up to a mystic archer, which is the upgrade to it. So if we yeah, if we select, that. we start off with four, uh, but then these progress and widen out into much stronger characters so we're starting off with the archer and, and that's where we're going and then we will progress from there and improve that archer by adding magical skills which i think that'd be a good idea so that's that and we're called lissandra that's that i've forgotten so we, the best i could find was lisa so lissandra age 20 just like me finalize it yes Okay, <laughs> we're we're off, and then I'll, I'll work out where to put the I camera. I like that look in your eyes. It is queerly brazen for a pawn. Oh, it's a bit mean, Most isn't it? Your kind have eyes blank as a cadaver's. Mayhap it is only natural oh, seeing do as the how you rise from the dead. There's aught different about you, though. Could it be that you fear death just as we mortals do? Yeah. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Worry not, vessel. Three days here, and you'll be longing for death's sweet embrace. Well, I don't know. Come along, you feckless dullards. Can I? Can I? Oh. It's not very nice, is it? Calling me a dullard? A good idea to chop your head Well, not chop your head off. Cut, you know, fire your head off. One or more add ons. Added, you will gain access to them as you progress through the game. So I presume this is a pre-bonus because we got it like a couple of days before. Just bought this for my birthday because I said of all the games out there, that's probably the only one that interests me. Right, first of all, I'm going to go in here and we're going to do. We turn the volume up. All right, because it's a little bit lower. All right, so we'll turn up the master volume to full. I'll keep this music on the low side for a minute uh, I turn up the effects uh, I've got voice uh, turned right to the top so hopefully with that change that might improve it if not I'll move the mic a little bit away so you can turn it up and that you know then you, then you hear this game sound a bit louder and I'll, I'll be a bit less hopeful <laughs> right we well we have a map both this vocation choice and the magic at a later time use use the distance fighting thing, which is to attack from behind the main fighter. Uh, yes, well, that's that's what I'll be attempting to do. But you know, I'm used to going in. I must admit. But you know, I have done like Frandolf from distance and only. You know, most of the time I've never had to go in too much with the sword, so I'll, I'll try. I, you know, I'm trying that. Right, okay, everything okay. Now controls, those are the controls. I, I pretty much know the controls because the first game is th this is basically this, the first game. Um, so I, I know base the basic controls, and I have the camera as close as possible. So the option to have to do the distance, I have done it to its closest point. So I, I like it as close as possible if I can't do first person. And unfortunately it hasn't got first person. Now, I have been watching people's reactions to this and, you know, their feelings on the game. And 
you know, playing, you know, 40 odd hours, 50 hours, how they feel about it. And the, the consensus seems to be it's very much the same as the first game, except with prettier graphics. The quest system is improved, so the way it goes about it is better. Uh, much better than the first one. There's still going to be quests that are going to be not on the very high standard. They're going to be kind of okay kind of standard. Um, and the fighting moves, everything, all the kind of moves, whether you're made or whatever it is, they're all basically the same ones as the first game. So I'd say it's the first game with a new coat of paint and a few embellishments, a few extra big creatures added. But basically, they've said that the, the there isn't enough enemies to um, how do you run? Do you, this is no place for one oh. of your ilk. Tis harsh beyond measure. Even we pawns are pushed to the brink. <laughs> you ought not anger the overseer. Let us proceed to the site. Start off like Starfield. You know, we start off in a mine. <laughs> I mean, can I uh, inter uh, interact with it? I presume I can just say hello or whatever. So I don't presume I can't do anything with this. So have I got a bow? Oh, I haven't got a bow, I haven't got anything. Right, okay. So now, instead of like, you know, you click on them, you know, now it's got this little thing where you just hail them. So it it, it, it should look a lot better. And it's, all, it's, it's about four times the size of the first one. In other words, it's been widened out. So there's a lot more area to explore. To get to work. All right, I keep on. <laughs> I got to work. I'm moving my mic away a little bit. So if it is a bit quiet for you, because some games, you know, they, they, they are on you the quiet to side. Work. Then you will begin by carrying stones out from the station in the back. And oh, right. Them. So it's kind of like a bit like Starfield where it started off where you were just doing a bit of mining. <laughs> uh, I know the first one, it started off straight away in, in action, straight away, combat right from the start. So a slightly different start this time. Uh, where do I pick up these stones? I think I'll go down there then. Right, I have a lantern apparently, which was... What was it? Go to... Go to the items menu. Right, okay, items menu. So I presume it's that. No, that's the map. That. Right. Equipment. Equipment. Uh. Where's items? <laughs> As you can see, it's very difficult to put this camera anywhere, so I, I don't know where to put it. It's, it looks like it's going to be in the way the whole time. So this could be tricky, tricky but uh, we'll, we'll grab it. So you can grab stuff, you can throw people, uh, people can catch you if you fall. The vicinity is quite cluttered. Pray leave. I'll take it I'm heading north. I presume, hang on, let me just check. I presume I'm... Hello Sweeney Todd, how are you? Nice for you to come in. Please pop in. I, this is going to be a... It's going to be... It's totally blind. I haven't... You know, I've only seen the trailers that show the vocations and the little gameplay trailers, you know, like 10 minutes of gameplay where they just flash through and showed a few little highlights. So, uh, I haven't done anything with playing it at all. So, hello Sweeney, nice to see you. Uh, so uh, it looks like we're going forward. Yes. Okay. So is anybody else coming? Let me just double check. Anybody else come in? I don't want to miss anybody. Right. So I do my I do my best. I have you know my uh, my follower that I have or pawn as they call it. I recently down, uh, downloaded re two remakes for original and Alan Wake. Okay, excellent. RE, what was that? RE what? 
me just uh, stop a minute. Re two mix. Well, I don't know what re two make remake is. Re four original and Alan Wake. Right, okay. Wow, well, it's been downloading a lot. Right, I take it we're we're going that way. There's no kind of marker to say which way we're going. Resident Evil. Oh, I see. Resident Evil. Yeah, it's a game I've never played. I've never I'm not mad, mad on the you know the, the, those kind of things. You know, like. What do you call them? Horror, you know, that kind of stuff. Right, well, I've got to take it. Up there? No, to keep going forward. I presume. That way? I mean, is there a marker? It could be, actually, that, that could well be the marker down there. Can I run? I can jump. Can I jump with that in my... I don't know if I can jump. Right, I've got to go down then. <laughs> Well, I, I didn't see the thing pointing down the bottom, uh, which you know now it looks like a you know kind of a pointer. Can I go any quicker? Recently, about one man by the brazier. What this one? You were prepared to work, then you all begin by carrying stones. Out right. Okay. Thank you. Oh, that's Rook. Oh, I see. I was expecting somebody to be, you know, well dressed or whatever, because you know. Yeah, he does look a little bit like the one in the first game. Name is to the left when you talk. Well, yeah, yeah, but I got like into the conversation to find out. So where where are we going up? It doesn't really say. So now we're we're heading towards the circle, which is there. Have I got to keep talking to him? You were prepared to work. Then you all begin by carrying stones. Oh, down there. Right. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. So I wouldn't look in. God, I don't know why. Well, it looks like I've got to put it down there from what, what I can see, which is down there. So then maybe I've got to go back to Rook. So let's, let's kind of stick with Rook. Right around there and put it there. Right. Okay, I've done that. Right. Okay. I think they want you to bring all the rocks rock out of the cave to Rook. A job well done. Now the next step is to. What? It's to. <laughs> what is this commotion? Smash the gate. Right, okay, we're finally going. Thank you. Oh, come on. Sorry about that. I'll. Uh... Too long, shave a bit out. Uh, you heeded the commands while well, something. Investigate the disturbance. Oh, I've got a feeling if the other prisoners are going up the stairs with Bolt, I would think you have to also. All right. Okay. Well, it's not a good start. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> What's going on? Oh right. Okay. It's a dangler. <laughs> Hello! Okay, we don't let it look at us then. Uh, no. the damn thing's Give me a walk. sword. I mean, uh, an arrow. A bow. Even at the cost of your lives. <laughs> okay, use the bow. Uh, do I get a bow? Excuse me, able to. Oh! oh. Who oh, good is a bow? Try and remember to pick that up. <laughs> bow, kill, creature. Right, okay, I got it now. Alright, don't admire it, remember, got a lot of time. And, and don't let it look at it. I mean, I've got to keep out of its gaze. I know, I'll look the other, I'll look the other way. Fundamentals of using a distance and careful. Uh, hang on. Do I do I lock on or hang on? Steady shot. All oh, right, steady shot. All right. If your foes should draw too near, counter them with a well-aimed kick. I'll go for a brain. Whoa! Right in the face. 
boulders, barrels, and the like that can make effective weapons for the clever combatant. Or well, just shoot the tails with a bigger target in it. Get off! I'm not looking. <laughs> Shut up! When delivering targeted strikes, I would recommend. No, 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 yeah, crawl away. Your hair was t turning into stone. <laughs> My brain's turned into stone. You all flee while you can. After all, your charge awaits you. Medusa, there, I said. Don't look at me like that. Surely the work of a fell curse, but worry not. You need only believe in your own destiny, Arisa. Who is he? Well, I can feel that on the controller. Hello? Oh, son, it. The accursed creature escaped. It's your fault. Oh, you! Get back here! Is that us? Yeah, Wait. run! <laughs> Quick, run for it! Don't know, work, work for a Come mine. Let us flee. Oh, I can dash now. Great, okay, I can dash. Okay, right, tutorial over. Sorry about that. You know, I just, you know I'm a bit thick. I mean, I expect, I expect him to be a well dressed person. Are you joking? <laughs> Because when you when you when you land in water in this game, you well when you go in water you die. It's basically you don't touch. The, well, you can just go in a little bit, but you go too deep, you die. Oh, a Griffin! I'll shoot it. Don't worry. If you could like kill him, pick him up, and drag him off and. Throw him in the river, I'd be very happy. Slave master. Doing a great job of bringing him down. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Who is this person? Who are you, sir? I take it as a sir, I mean, I don't know. Oh, Capcom presents. Is it done? By, is it made by Capcom or right? Dragon's Dogma with a two on it. So I got the original. I played. I think I went up to about level twenty-five. I enjoyed it, but certain parts annoyed me. And by the way, that guy there, I, I, I'm not sure if it's that guy there, but he wants us to suffer. Oh no, that's Dark Souls. No, Dark Souls broke. He wants us to suffer. That's why he makes you go through hell in Dark Souls or, and the others. I'm riding it, am I? Am I? If so, that's jolly convenient. If only I could ride that the whole time, I'd be happy. I wonder why it would pick me up. If it's me, that is. If it's on me. Not good, no. Uh-oh. Well, that's it. But don't worry, I keep flapping, keep flapping while you die. Keep flapping. <laughs> but the graphics should look a lot better. I just wish they'd made, a, you know, instead of doing what they did in the first game, 
and then expanding on that I just wish they'd give us more save slots because there are 10 vocations and you want to try them all out and I wish they'd done fast travel or more of it those are my two main complaints of the first one it's all right running you know exploring but eventually you don't want to run from you know way over to the left side of the map and having to go all the way to the other side of the map and you've got to run it that could be rather tedious so there, there's our character i thought i'd do a lady for a change oh yeah yeah that's what happens if you go in the water too deep uh, or even in your feet apparently but I will not perish. There is a stone not far from here, known as a rift stone. Pray, seek it out. If you're truly the arisen, then our paths will surely cross again. Good luck. <laughs> Oi, are you all right? What's happened here? Well, this is a handsome young man, <laughs> says our character. Blushing wildly. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just doing this serious. And falls the next, and now you stand before me. Yeah, aren't you lucky? <laughs> is it you then, the one who was riding on its back? Yes. It is a wonder you survived. Accompany me to the stronghold. We'll treat your wounds and hear your story. Oh, thank goodness! Thank goodness. Is that it? Right. Okay, we've got a taste of fruit. Right. Okay. Stand by. I guarantee we'll only go 20 seconds and we'll get attacked. Right, okay. So, yeah, it's very similar to the first game. And w when you do the intro or the first game, the graphics are really bad. Really, or even for that time. I didn't think the graphics were very good. It improved slightly as we went on. At the moment, on this area, it doesn't look Certainly as though it's like improved much, but I think it improves as we go through. It's quiet, isn't it? From Batal ever since the war, it is difficult to imagine any citizen of Burma being sent there. All right. If I miss any, please let me know because I tend to miss stuff. Right, okay. Oh, well, at least we went like, two yards. Let's take up your weapons, sir. You'll be needing it. Sir, I'm not, sir. Uh, shoot these, uh... Keep, keep all back. Strength flagging. Imbibe a curative or have a bit of Oh, green. well, yeah. Yeah, I'll have to do that. Where are you going? I'll not force you to receive treatment, but I'd at least like a word. Oh, so, uh, get out of the way. When I'll... One of the fiends comes typical in, follower thing, guard isn't it? or dodge, else you'll be sore on the morrow. Well, so far, I'm tremendously accurate. <laughs> nah, he... Make use of the slope. There are oft items to be scavenged from the bodies of monsters and their ilk. If you're not squeamish about picking at their bones, oh, it's quicker at picking up. The first game, you know, you pressed it and you and watch a little animation, so it's very quick at picking up. I like that. If, if they improve every, I no, I haven't. And I count that a blessing. All I know for sure is that it is a beast ever more fierce. Oh, I'm gonna pick up some stuff because we're gonna. Need some stuff, obviously. Oh, that's taking a little, a little while. All right, that's, oh, that's, oh yeah, because you, you, you kind of find gold. All right. So in this game, when you, you know, break things, you do get stuff. So this is one of the games where it is worth breaking things. Right. Okay. More. So as I say, we will keep having this happen. So we'll try for a headshot here, and I like a nice big cross. You know, that's what I like in a game, is a big cross, so I know exactly where it is. Right, okay, I've got to get back here. Now, there's no jump button. I find, uh, no, sorry, uh, an evade button. That's the one thing I wanted in this game, was an evade button. And we haven't got it, we've only got this jump thing. So, I'm a little bit annoyed at that. Because they should have made improvements. Bad shot. But it's, it's in my way. Typical follower problem, isn't it? Ah, but headshot soon sorted that out. Uh, 
I'm a level two. Where are you going? I'll not force you to receive treatment, but I'd at least like a word. Just like stamina and health went up. Goblin horror. Now I do know what some of these things are for, but not all of them. I, I, you know, I did, I, I did play a few weeks ago the first one just to get remind me what the things were, and uh, just thought I had, you know, just refresh my memory. Green wars. Yeah, it looks like it's just a similar similar materials as well. So it doesn't. It, it looks like it's basically it's just improved things. Uh, from the first one because these things used to be very narrow there wasn't much you could explore it's, they were very narrow like this sometimes you know there were bits where you could go a little bit wider but it looks like this is a lot wider so there's a lot more area to explore now which that was a great improvement over the first one because it, it was a bit like a fable Welcome, Arisen. We Welcome. pawns have long awaited your arrival. Mary de Pau. What is this? The pawns. They bend the knee to you so readily, but then... No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way. Now, I've got... I've got to... To, uh... Before you stands a rift stone. Tis a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross o'er into this world. Right. So I, I do know this Pray. process. Summon your pawn. Simply paint with so... your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you. Alright. <laughs> okay, so I know the system. And it's a very good system and it's unique to this game. Right, so this is our pawn. This is our, our, our main pawn that will be with us. Through, you, you can get rid of the others if you want. I'm not sure if you can get rid of your individual pawn that I we created. And that's our armor. So this one, he is a, a fighter as in a kind of... I think he's a... Oh no, he is actually a fighter. Oh right, I didn't know. I thought uh, I'd done it as a thief. But actually a fighter... I don't know. Oh yeah, I think I did, because I remember that shield. So, yeah, probably a good fire going in, smash them to pieces, and... Um, yeah, but we could. I, what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll get a, a, thief, a thief and a mage as well. Okay, so we'll go with that and finalize. So that's the ones that we created uh, on that free one. He's called uh, Prince Cat. I think I think they added the uh, Prince bit, and, and Katana was the nearest I can get. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so normally they would come down, you know. You would click that first. So I did a nice furry lion type creature. <laughs> or cat. <laughs> this world is connected to innumerable other realms beyond the rift, which pawns such as myself are able to traverse. Wow, you can My say a lot more. Is duty bound to serve you, Arisen, and to use the knowledge we glean in these distant worlds to your benefit. Thank you. I well, myself didn't... look forward to traveling alongside you and using my experiences beyond the rift to enrich your okay. adventures. Now, I'd love to just do the two of us. A pawn summoning before my very eyes. We haven't seen that before. The Arisen, then. Strange. I thought the Arisen was in the capital. Sure. Oh, right. <laughs> only meant to be one arisen. Fine. This is all beyond my ken. Who's ken? The watchhead would know what to do. I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. Ah, uh, right, okay. Right, yeah, I it's, it's we'll save repeating any further again. Until the watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like afore then. Okay, then. 
I could do some clothes. <laughs> what? You've no memories, you say? No, no, not at all. It's true, real life. Mayhap you could make for Melv then. It was set upon by the dragon not long ago. All right. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen, mayhap you'll recall aught of import there. <laughs> you yeah, mayhap. Yeah, I, the, the language is, a, is very odd. It's like a mix of normal language and old. I don't know. It, 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 it's either it's, 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 should have done one or the other. It's kind of caught between the two. So, yeah, repeating text. We've got that problem again, which is obviously covering up a lot of stuff. So, the Rift Stones is where you call down followers. And it's probably best to have the four. Hello, PDB2KI. How are you? PBD. PBD 2KI. Thanks for coming in, uh, BB. And everybody else. Oh, and Morgana. Sorry, I didn't write Morgana down. Sorry, Morgana. You know, I'm very busy. We will be going back to Elden Ring, so don't worry about that. We will do that probably next week. Uh, uh, but probably eventually we'll move on to this game full time on a Thursday. But I'm going to go. I've got a new plan for Elden Ring, which should help me. Uh, having watched somebody who is, is good at Dark Souls games, I've been watching them and seeing how they evade, which, which time to evade, and, and playing Elden Ring. And I have a better understanding of the exact time now, of when to... So I hope for Hail, that. Arisen. Pray, ask all you wish to know. I shall answer, if it is within my power to do so. Okay. Right, um... Now, the, the pawns are things that come from this rift. You can go into that rift, and then when you're in the rift, um, well, let, 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 let's tell us. Born in other worlds, we travel here by means of the rift stones that we might aid you, Arisen. All right, However, so... I cannot speak as to our true nature, for I know of it not. None of us do. We do not need to. We merely do as we are commanded. All right. Right. So uh, yeah. So the Rift Stones is like another worldly place where you, and you go. You, you just kind of transverse to it, and you know, followers will come along, and some of them will be free. So if they're the same level as you, they're free. If they were, if you go for somebody higher, then they they will cost so many of these current the currency. So, and you can pick and choose whichever type you want, and you can look at their skills and see what skills you like and what, what you don't, and you, you can change them any time you like. And the beauty of this game is, not only does it do that, but these pawns, if you send them back and replace it with another one, those pawns will be used by other players, and any experience they gain from somebody else else's play when they come back to you, uh, they will have an idea of what to do in certain areas and they will actually give you hints on what you have to do or, you know, oh, this is the one's susceptible to fire, which is a really good system and that's what makes this game, you know, a bit unique. Now, so yeah, tell me about the Arisen. To fates chosen, those destined to command the Pawn Legion and safeguard the world from the threat of the dragon. Right, okay. Even with your memories lost to you, I am afraid you cannot escape your fate. Oh, that's a shame. I'll have to kill him then. All right, another time then. You've just played through the first game using my brother's pawn. She knew everything since since he finished the game and basically walked me through it. Right, okay, the pawn system is really cool. It is a, f a fabulous system and nobody else does this. Very well. It's just unique to Dragon's Dog. Way, and that's why this game had a niche following because they did things that they didn't do in other games including Skyrim all right now we could go in here let's go in here all right and let's look at this system so you're transversed into this kind of world where and you have your own pawn which you can dismiss and others will come in okay and they will cost riff coins okay and you can look at any one of these. Oh, I may be going too far. They they appear in this kind of local area here. And you can look at their stats. 
You can hold the talk. And prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. And that tells you what kind of support they will be, whether they will support you, whether they will try and heal you know, they might heal you, they might try and catch you if you fall. Um, so they will say what type of pawn they are as well. So then you can look at the details. So you can sort of look at all this, their strength, you know, defense, magic, you know, so if you want a magic character, you're looking for high magical you know skill and defenses. You know, and it'll tell you, you know, if they have you know special moves and things like that what their elemental resistances are you know things they're susceptible to all this you can view okay and their encumbrance which is an encumbrance is an important bit of this game all right then you can view the yeah view the details and then you can add this to your favors if you think well i might have that at another time but at the moment they're higher level than me so and i can't afford it you can add them to your favorites and look at it again so you, this is what the system is so we're going to get we'll start off with four because at the beginning we probably need help so what i'm going to do i'm looking for like a mage type character okay hang on i didn't hold it, it there pleasure to meet you. Uh, it's a short one it's gonna be a hobbit <laughs> so uh and it won't cost us any money all right so we've got a mage here elemental resistance if you have friends on your account it will pull their points pawns to the top Two. Oh right okay so if you've got friends playing as well that are nearby then they, they will appear probably before some of the others so let's see what uh what have they got they've got like uh they don't seem to have anything what does it say what does it say what it is oh it's it looks like a mage a specialization So it looks like a mage type character. But it doesn't seem to have anything. <sighs> I'm confused. Well, I'll try and do it as quick as I can. Right, fighter, you go go by the little sign. I think it's blue for mage. So uh how about Lucy? If tis discipline your company lacks, oh, that's more I like can it. provide. Okay. So let's have a look at the uh so her, she's a calm calm person her rating is <laughs> we haven't rated it yet you can rate them as well i think uh she's level six uh, oh that one cost cost too much so that, that one is going to cost us a lot of money and we haven't really made any money so we're looking for something so you know i wouldn't mind a one of these as well so you it's know a like, to meet you hello em am i at all this one's a kind of thief type character. She's kind hearted. Travel together for a day and a night. Nana. No things. Pawn details. They don't seem to have much of anything, like, you know, like weapon wise or whatever, but we'll go with that. Let's let's have that one. So let's hire that one. Let's, let's try and get this going. Then let's not doodle. Okay, let's I'm very tempted to keep it all ladies <laughs> so pawn quests are our tasks given to you by a main pawn we keep completed beyond the rift you set your task and must stipulate a reward for the arisen who hires your main pawn to receive upon the task completion pawn quests provide valuable opportunities for you to obtain items and acquire pawn badges so you should endeavor to get your pawn hired as of, as often as possible okay when setting a reward for your hires your main partner, yeah, you can you can give them like gifts, uh, you know, as you return them back to the uh, rift, you can give them gifts and that will go to the player. Uh, okay. Now I didn't really do that much. Uh, I don't really, uh, you know, because you know, I, I I just didn't. I don't know why. Well, it looks like we're, we haven't got many mages, so we'll have to just go with this one. All right, this could be mostly girls then. So let's hire that one. Let's get cracking. But um, so I didn't always give a gift because I, I was eager to just get on with the game. <laughs> so uh, I should be able to go back now. So in here we can, you know, see what the pawns are. You know, go through them and in a list. Uh, and then, but we'll leave the list. Let's, uh... So let's 
So these now be with us, okay? Stay Which, with me, you know, if you don't like followers, that's going to be a real grind. But um, it doesn't matter because, you know, it's entirely your choice. In fact, I don't even know whether you can, you might be able to actually do it without anybody. Any mage pawns will be low level with maybe one or two at at higher level, yeah. At the moment, we haven't really got anything like money or anything like that. So, uh, although apparently I have 526, I didn't realise that. <laughs> right, okay then. So let's have a look at our quest. So you have heard a word that a dragon attacks. Melv, make for the village and witness the aftermath for yourself. Okay. So where's Melv? How do you, is there a... Uh, is there like a local air, uh, the local area for the map? How do you view the map? View log details. That's tutorial. I, I know basically what you have to do in the game. All right, so this is the local area, right? And the map isn't bad. I must admit, but uh, it looks like there's a little bit of an improvement on the first one. The first one went brilliant, but it was better than Skyrim. So, uh, you know, that's got to be something. Now, I can't see... Oh, Return to the World Map is that. Okay, so we've got to head all the way down there. All right, so that's where we're going. Uh, now, I've got the thing, the, you know, the, I, got it all, I got it so it always stays north. I always get rid of uh, Blur, and I always get rid of... I have it locked. He has locked to his screen. I did not see your message, uh, Mal. Right, hang on. Like, oh, you are, like that they added uh, quests? Yeah, yeah. Apparently, uh, those pawns you bring down now have quests that you can do for them. Uh, you get extra XP if you only use your main pawn, but it's a lot harder. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking of like just having two of us. Uh, so, but we'll start off with four and see what happens. Okay. All right. So, so there it goes. I think I've got that. Right, so we have to venture forward, which is it looks like that's a, it looks like that's like a it looks like a cross, and that's where I'm supposed to be heading. So I won't chat the kind of everybody, but basically, I, I imagine you can buy stuff, you know, so you can go along and buy. Stuff. I think there's a training bit where you, it, it basically wants to do a very quick bit of training. Well met. Well met. All oh, right, okay, so it, buy sell. So we've got all this now. Let me just see if I've got if I've got like a pre-order bonus which I can flog it all off. Then I'll flog it all off. And all right. So and you have your four characters, so they can all pick up Sorry, stuff for you. So if you're if you're getting rather heavy, you can give them one of these things. You know. So like, you know, I can pop that. Well, no, I don't want to say it. But um, you know, you can do that. So uh, let me just talk a minute. A warm welcome for a customer. All right. So it's basically buy, buy and sell. Now let's see if there's something we can buy. Um, I mean, what an archer? You know, what would a backup, good backup thing? Right. I, I would say let's buy some kind of armor. So let's have a look. So that's weapons, uh, armor. We want armor. I doubt if we can afford this. 500. Uh, no, we can't afford any of this. So, and in this game, you basically, you know, you could do with buying stuff. Now, in the first game, they had DLC, which when you bought it the, with the Dark Arisen one, you get free stuff, which you could just instantly sell and make a load of money. But at the moment, we can't afford hardly anything. So I'll leave it. Much obliged. Okay then. So hopefully we'll find something that's just as down the road. Going out, are you? Yeah. Sure that's a good idea. You seem rather unwell. Well, I, th I think I'm all right. You ought at least rest for the evening. Oh, see. Should be a spare bed in the lodgings yonder. All right. If you're going to use long weapons, I would think a dagger for the artist. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking a dagger. Yeah. No monocles to sell this time. Yeah. Last time we had these kind of free gifts. Uh, if you bought the. Uh, DLC which I did on the first one and they gave you like some things that were worth a huge amount of money uh, so, so go rushing off before you're ready take it from me 
You're better off resting while you have the chance. It's a very similar start to the first game where a little bit of a different beginning, but this bit here is very similar to the start of the other one where you know it wants you to go to bed, rest, to and then it wants you to like go in, buy, sell, all this waiters. kind of stuff. Above. Yeah, I think you, you can uh, make potions, ghosts, so you can do that. Uh, so i just got to find out where we rest now. Auto save data cannot be relied upon to save your progress in the world. I just recommend you rest it in at regular intervals if you wish to ensure the reliability. Yeah, see, this is the kind of thing that... Boy there, you seem well tired. Tell you what, it's you a can very stay old... here tonight free of charge. I'll expect coin from tomorrow, mind. All right, then. My pa always used to say, there's naught a good night's sleep can't fix. Not much else I can offer, I'm afraid, but you'll find all sorts at a finer inn. All right, then. Aye, being armed is better than being defenseless, even if you're untrained. Still, it is worth devoting yourself to a vocation if you can. Opens up new doors, it does. So, and you can change you stop by vocation. The Elv if you get the chance. No hard feelings if you prefer it. They've much more to offer. All right. Okay, so staying in fully restores your partner's health and stamina. It also recovers the lost gauge, the lot which represents a reduction in your health and accumulates when taking damage. So yeah, yeah, your damage will go down, and the only thing that you can refill it with is some potions that you can make with the materials that you gather, uh, or, or going to, to bed. Uh, they can heal. The mages could heal you, uh, but they will only heal you up to your you know up to a certain level. They won't. Heal it all up, all the way up. When resting in, you can choose whether to rise in the morning or at night. Useful if you need to set a, a particular time. Farsighted uh, adventurers will stay at inns regularly to avoid risk when travelling far afield. Now, it's better not to travel at night because at night, creatures are far more dangerous and different creatures will arrive during the night. Uh, and we should uh, stop by the inn in Melv. Okay. I try and remember that. So let's rest. I have no issue falling asleep. Even at this time of day. All right. But it's a very similar system than the first game, from what I can see. Because it was pretty well like this. It's a different intro. A moment long awaited. But this was that started in the first one. Uh, added items will be sent to item storage. Item storage can be accessed at any time. Yeah, this is where you can also um, store stuff. Uh, so if you have an excess of stuff, you can store it here. They do say good things come to those who wait. Excuse me, Mr. Ice Cream Man. <laughs> uh, you can put it there, but obviously we've hardly got anything. So we're going to make for Melv, which I presume is a town. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat thrills to gathering items. I am confident and may act independently. Well, I don't want to. I've already got somebody. Thank you very much. The details are Capcom. <laughs> uh, you're level two, though. I'm sorry, but I'm quite happy with what I got. <laughs> I'm happy with what I got. I'm sorry. I picked it and I don't want to change it. So, you yeah. know. That's what I've got to say to you. Now, just have a look to see if there's anything else. There's, there's... Now there's a worthy yeah. Oh, I am level two also. Right. So now, I'm going to... Now, I'm not quite sure how we smash into things. Uh, I think, you know... I don't know if I've got another weapon, to be honest. Uh, how do I kick? Front kick. I don't do a kick. Because I want to smash these because there'll be things in, in some of them. You know, I'll just go and wreck the place. So we have a kick then. Okay, right, I like it, I like it, I like the kick. So I'll just kick a few things open. They don't mind me smashing their stuff. They're quite flexible. And and sometimes, oh, so there's, hang on, there's some uh, lantern oil we picked up. Uh, you just like to break things, well, a lot of people like to break things. <laughs> you know, a lot of games they go in just let you take stuff, but in this one they let you break it because it's one of the games where you can smash a load of stuff and you can get stuff out of it. People do not like it if you have your weapons out in towns. Okay, well, I'll put it away then. 
because you can put it away. Fancy a gander? No I find good for sale. Not really, I ain't got hardly any money. What have you got? I find goods for sale. Alright, let's have a see what you got. Well, it's the same as before. <laughs> right. Well, I'd say, yes, let's head out. Uh, if I can find the, the right road. It looks like this road. So, we have to head for Melv. Not that way. Or that way, apparently. That way? I mean, it looks like it's that way, but it might be out of this gate. Hey, oh, you a soldier? It would be a surprise to see you arrive in one piece if not. Hordes of monsters have been plaguing this area of late, you see. We've right, had to yeah. start sending out new recruits to call them. All right. Is that so? Who went yonder? I don't Lachlan. know. But I dare say he'll fare all right. I'm not no, saying the animations are great. He will. Who was sent out that way then? I can't but know. it's better than Skyrim. To be honest, sir, I'm a little worried <laughs> for him. Right. What? Weren't harpies reported in that area? Bad can't handle those beasts on his own. Now, is it, it's got, got him, uh, didn't do much of this in the first one, so this is, this the first is a nice improvement. Fine. I want to go to his aid, but we can't just abandon our posts. So there's a lot more so, in this department. You seem stout of heart. Would you be willing to go in our stead? It isn't far, only a short ways out from the main gate. All right. Okay. My thanks. And a cardos as well, I'm sure. All right. I have a cardo as well. <laughs> right, setting a party quest. Right, you set a quest to prioritize. Oh yeah, you can prioritise which which one you want to do, obviously, yeah. If the quest is known, a marker will be placed on your map to indicate it. Furthermore, if you have a pawn in your party who possesses the knowledge of that particular quest, he will be able to guide you. So this is what I mean about the pawns. Yeah, you know, you go away, you change it for another one. That one, when it comes back, will have information that will be useful to you. Uh, and the same the other way as well. Somebody else will gain information from me. Right, some quests are affected by the passage of time and will progress without the player's involvement. Taking on multiple quests that comes with a risk of being unable to act in time and this can result in unforeseen consequences. Okay, so you could kind of run out of time. Try to bear the factor of time in mind when manufacturing... Yeah, when... Yeah, yeah so it's good. Yeah, not do we too many to quests at a time then. Right, uh, can, I, can I go out then? And there's no loading screens, which is a great improvement over the first game. Because there was a lot of that. Uh, now you can kind of wander where you like, but uh, I think we'll stick mainly with this it's main bit for an hour. Uh, but but you, you do tend to get enemies fairly One regularly in this game, and uh, we can give them pawn commands, which I do know about. Is I think it's up, down, left, right on the D-pad. So you can tell them to go, like you know, go over there, you know. You can tell them to come to me if you're in trouble. Uh, you can tell them to wait, and you can you can ask for help if you're in trouble. Okay, so you can do all that. It's only dead, is it? <laughs> With that notice. Thanks. This and they do talk the a lot next. but they notice that time events is going off on a tangent yeah yeah it, it can make you can fail a quest if you forget about it or whatever yeah that is possible so i've got to be careful of that so you got to kind of manage your quests and maybe not take too many on uh, uh especially if they're time limited right okay so looks like we've got to kind of go in this direction so we're, we're going to get enemies all the time which and I you know, I find it can be too much at times. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the worm, as they say. You can't harm your own players, by the way. As well. So if I do shoot in that direction, I won't, you know, harm my own players. Obviously, oh, there's another one there. 
Well, we've got an upper treat in a moment, so not all of them will have stuff to pick up, but some of them will. So I'll pick up as much as we can, but I, I find it a little bit too much, and obviously flowers, all that kind of stuff, so you've got all that sort of stuff that we normally creations. get. Now, there are kind of like set events that happen, and some really cool stuff that I've seen, you know, from the trailers, uh, which are really good. I wonder if uh, shooting that will get gain anything. Well, I've got a pan, so <laughs> it could be, you know, shoot all the things, get an achievement, I don't know. And it's a good idea to search in this game because there are chests and things to find in all over the place. Like that, for instance. So, good idea going off the beat track because you will find lots of stuff. So, I did this in the first game and I spent a lot of time at the beginning just looking around. Uh, you just like to break stuff. <laughs> oh, here comes repeating text again. So, uh, let's see. And there are kind of big monsters now which have been added. A few, like, much bigger creatures. A bit like they had a cyclops, you know, the griffin and all. There are more, but these bigger, bigger ones. And some of them are really big. They're like a kind of, uh, the, you know, Colossus, uh, like the Colossus game. They're really big ones. This looks like kind of where we have to go. It's a bit hard to see because of all the... Uh, it's a bit hard to see. That's any trouble with all the followers on your on your thing. It's a bit hard to see which way you're pointing. Uh, it kind of looks like we've got to go down this way, and we can run. And there's no, there is a, you know, there is a stamina bar. Now you can go in, uh, you know, water that's quite shallow. We must find a way over to it. Right, let's have a look. Uh, quest. Go to our, our corner and see if that recruit survives. Oh, okay. Let's let's do, do this one. Did it? Hang on. Go to quest details. Go to map. What's that? Right, so it's down there. So that's where we've got to go. So we've got to go back along there and go down to there. Okay, so let's try and do that. We'll be tortured to leave it unclaimed. It's a bit difficult, uh, you know, trying to work out your pathways. So we're there. We so we've got to go behind. So I tend to face a certain direction and then go behind and kind of try and choose it, pick it that way. But you can only go certain ways You're through here. Can't see anything through here. You, you haven't. You have got a jump button, but she will like auto climb certain things. Well. I've got where I came in now. There's something there. Pick up that. I've got to go across here because I can't really see a way because we're kind of pointing in that way. I'm trying to find a way through and this looks like the only way through so it might be I've got to go around there. How do I get around there? Finding a little bit, oh I might have to go up here and round. I think that's what it is. Don't you? But if you go too deep in the water, um, unfortunately you'll die. It doesn't look as though we can go there. Can we go around here? Yeah, yeah I don't think we've got our clairvoyance I think. I can't see a way past this because we've got to kind of go that way although as I say it's hard to see with all these guys running around which way you're facing corner that we've got to go up here but you can't really follow the river because you'll die if you go in the river let me just do a save Save and continue. I just want to see if I can go in the river a minute because it does seem to be suggesting we go this way. Now, debilitation is you can, you know, if you're covered in water, that would slow you down. If you're, you know, poisoned or whatever, then you will get a negative status things. 
that will affect your range from flitting damage uh, instead of so you, and you can get potions uh, that can get rid of those so we've got to watch out for that view tutorial logbook where <laughs> I don't know I find it slightly confusing I don't know I mean did I find a weak stone child then I can't quite see what's on the right hand side so what I might do is move the camera up to the top uh, let me just do that a minute let me move it up here because it's kind of been the way on that bottom right and I might be missing something but it, it seems to be like I've got to go this way but I can't go that way so I don't Let me look at my inventory then. And did they pick up a waystone? A waystone. Looks like we've got a waste a waystone shard. Oh, and that can restore the dead to life, which is very handy. Apparently, you can kill th uh, people in this game. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to items and I'm going to see if I can make some things. So uh, I've got to try and remember how you do it now. I think you select something like say that and then you combine it and it will give you other choices. Uh, it will say what you need to combine it. So it looks like we can do that which will make a potion. I think. <laughs> See, so we've got a potion, and they are the same names as the first game. So we now have a potion. So we'd have to go into there. At least it pulls this time. So as well, I'll do this again. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I do believe you can pick it up if you drop it. Yeah. So you can pick it back up. So it looks like I'll go through here, but I can't see a way up. So I'm a little bit confused at the minute. Because it looks like there's a way through here, but there isn't. So I don't know, I'm going to get around there. I'll try going back up here, but this looks like you got to, it could be we've got to them round. Uh, but I can't see any, anywhere to go around at the moment. Let's have a look at the map again. It could be I can go around here, but it looks like you got, I've got to go down there. But I don't know how to get down there because it doesn't seem to show a way up. Yeah, it doesn't seem to show a way up here. So it looks like we have to go that way. Okay, right. So that's what we'll do. Which is back where we came, I think. Oh, no, it's not. And uh, maybe along here, right, okay. Ah, right, okay, oh, right, I got it now. Uh, but yeah, we've got to look out for stuff. It, it does kind of highlight it, uh, stuff that you can pick up. But um, first game, it was quite well highlighted, but I must admit, so far, I'm, uh, I'm following, you know, it's not always highlighting very well. But we will get attacked all the time. Uh, this is this is a kind of area where it will heal your health. All right. So when she does a you know a spell like that, that heals you. So it's a good idea stand in that and heal yourself. Right now we've got some birds, some of these guys, and you can try and bring them down by shooting at them. These are the harpies. It's basically all the same creatures that you had in the first one, <laughs> with a few, just a, a handful of additions, which 
Oh yeah, and, and, and they can pick you up. And if you're a heavy character, they won't be able to pick you up and they'll drop you again. Ah, I'm hoping we're to try and shoot this thing. But it's a bit difficult to hit a moving target, isn't it? Uh, if, if you're a mage, uh, use fire on them, that will bring them down because they burn their wings. But uh, yeah, it's a bit difficult to hit a moving target, isn't it? I think well, we, we've been, you know, when you get some special skills, they might be able to like auto target. And then look to see if they've dropped anything. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. People find out that the tallness of your character actually affects your moves. Yeah, it does. If you're a tall character or a big character, uh, you won't be able to run too fast. You won't have so much stamina. And But if something picks you up, they won't be able to carry you very well. Uh, is that all of them? I think it is. You have my thanks. I do not believe for a moment I could have slain those creatures without your help. Well, I've of only course. just enlisted. And when I thought this could be the end of me, I, I was paralyzed. You saved me this time. Watch me. But I won't always be so fortunate. I'll have to train harder till I have yeah. the confidence to face such beasts on my own. That is the, oh, that's the one I'm supposed to rescue, is it? The, there are some holes in caves you can only fit in to... Oh, yeah, yeah. I think that was in the first one. If you're a small character, you can say, you know, you can go in there. But uh, and I don't, I'm not sure if you can send the other character in. Well... I'd best be heading back, but I'll be sure to let my superiors know of your good deed. All right. I hope we meet again someday. Okay, good. So we finished that quest then. Shall we report our results? So. I don't know, shall we? <laughs> Let's have a look. Inform. F f right, where's Phil? He's back there. The port fell. And he's there. Alright, and we are heading that way. I think. I would say it's that way, isn't it? Because we got to go around there to get around there, I presume, and and that looks like some kind of bridge, maybe. So hopefully I've got the right quest. I don't think this is a perfect game because I want to know how I can change this because it doesn't look as though it's changing from the main quest or not. It's not seem to be highlighting. So, uh, you know, a little bit confused because it looks like I've got to go backwards. So, let's go backwards. Uh, and this is what you got to do. I think I will report back to the quest giver, yeah. So, let me report back to the quest giver. It's an awkward system because this fast travel means you've got to go back all the same way. And when you go back the same way, they won't stay dead. They will re, 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 you know, there, reform master. all over I'm again. Now, although you've got, you know, you can run for quite a while you will run out of stamina so you've got to be a bit careful so let's go back I'd hasten hey old friend many thanks for aiding Ocado it was a relief to see him return and none the worse for wear you don't seem to put a tick on which one but it looks like it's highlighting is that hard to tell? I it was the poor son might not have made it back alive had you not intervened oh uh, that's why I intervened it was a bit too <laughs> early for him to be seeing actual combat that much was made well clear We'll be extending his training period. The instructors here are well known for oh, no. to shape with their grueling regimes. <laughs> Speaking of training regimes, I must admit I've half a mind to ask you to join us. We could use someone with your experience. We have succeeded in defending our children. Now I wasn't very good. Uh, good things to come, mayhap. I was not keen on the on the uh, training in the first game because it had a very short time limit, which made it really hard to uh, do it in the you know in the in the time provided. So, I I it took me several attempts to do it. 
I'll have a go at it. Hopefully they might give us more time. But first of all, I'm going to smash a few crates. <laughs> because I can. Uh, and, you know, sometimes on the stalls there will be something there just to allow you to have. Because, you know, you've just done something good for them. So, uh, you yeah, know, it's good idea. Good old smashing, you know. I'll tell you what, that's a nice kick. I like that. But evade, you haven't got an evade button. I find that a little bit odd. Because you've got to have a jump button, you've got to have an evade button. Although Skyrim didn't. But it's, you know, so you you just got to like jump, you know, jump out of the way. I don't know, it's not quite as good, but still. We're running low on everything. From provisions to crafting materials for weapons and armour. So? We've had a good time looking on the roads of late. Alright. I sent Marcus to gather what we need, but I've just taken stock and... I fear the list I gave him was incomplete. All right. So, yeah. Could I trouble you to run an errand for me? <laughs> You'd be paid, of course. Oh, good well, one. Okay. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Here, and and, take and in the first game, yeah. You ought to be somewhere north of here. And in the note, and he'll take care of the rest. All right. So, as I say, there's going to be a lot of to and fro in this, and because of the lack of fast travel. Now, I'm all for discovery and all that lot, but just sometimes you have to go away from the here to go somewhere else and then come back again. So you're, you're, you're repeatedly going backwards and forwards in this game and there's no fast travel. And I found that a bit annoying because, you know, you've explored an area, you know what's around that area, and the last thing you want to do is go and down that area flipping five times. So that is one of the weak sides of this, and I'm surprised that wasn't improved on. Uh, so, uh, you know, that's a little bit disappointing. Uh, because if you're going to do a new game, you know, you have to improve on the first one. In front of every aspect, really. And, you know, I get upset when they, when they don't. Because it's, it's a great opportunity to, to make it a lot better than the first one. And... Uh, so why not do that? They will help you pick up stuff. So when they see you see that you're picking up stuff, they will pick up stuff as well. So uh, and you got to watch your weight, of course. So if you've got too much on you, just transfer it to your followers. They're very good picking up trash. <laughs> uh, but again, we'll get the same respawn of things over and over. We will. They will not stay dead for two or three days. You will get the same ones respawning. And one of the things I found in the first one, which was really annoying, was I I, I had three of my followers fall down and, you know, they needed assistance. Uh, but I had to get away because I was almost dead. I went away only about 100 yards and went back to get them. And they'd all refilled their health. And I think that is a stupid system. Because, you know, if you've done a certain amount of damage to them and you've gotten halfway down or killed a few of them, which I had at that time, I had killed a few, and then you go back and suddenly they're all refilled in health. You know, I, I think they should have made improvements on that as well. And they haven't. So I'm a little bit disappointed that they haven't improved on some things from the first game, but there are some improvements, which uh, is welcome. But mostly, the, the the general consensus is is a is a good game. So, I'll I'll, I'll take heart from that, and uh, we'll uh, we'll carry on, and yeah, perhaps it will be a better experience than the first one. Uh, now, where do we go now? Now, this this map is it's kind of useful-ish, but it's too far away for me to really see. It's like an you know. You can't zoom in and out or anything like that. So I don't find this one that useful. Um, it's, it's better to, to, you know, do this one. So it looks like we've got to go up here, is it? Oh, we've got to go all the way down there. Yeah, I wish I could fast travel. <laughs> it looks like I went the wrong way, but we don't have to go that way. We can just go this way anyway. But I don't look as though we can. And don't look as though we pick up anything from here. Uh, I go in here? Might be to go in here actually. Although it could have an invisible wall, of course. Nope, there's nothing in there. <laughs> Alright, so I've got to go all the way back then. <laughs> well, so far we haven't had an attack yet, so you know, I'm hoping they don't keep us 
constantly give us the same attacks over and over again as you can pass back and forth. And it will wrap it on, these uh, things. But, you know, it can be a bit annoying. But you can tell them. You can sit them in a chair in the, in the town or something and you, you will be able to say, I don't want you to talk so much. So you can turn that off. But they do give you help, so I wouldn't turn it completely off. Uh, otherwise you won't get the help. I don't think it's going to live up to Skyrim. I don't, it's, you know, graphically it'll look better, but I don't think I find it amazing. Oh, oh hello. Going up there, are you? So, because there could be secrets up there, you know. <laughs> so it's a good idea that we'll look around and uh, find some secrets. So you can go a little bit off the beaten track. Uh, and it's well worth doing it, I'll tell you. There's uh, plenty of boxes, chests, all kinds of stuff hidden. So I'd recommend doing it. So the other one, it, it, there weren't that many wide areas to explore, but this one, it should be a lot wider. Four times as big, so it's, it's much wider now. But you can literally go where you want, but obviously some are going to be really strong. And you don't want that. I know what you're saying, I'm going the wrong way, but I'm not just going this way. Because I don't have to go that way. Although I might run out of time. Let's just go for a wander. Is this place bereft of beasts and brigands, both? A brief respite is naught to decry. I've already come here, haven't I? Well, let's just keep going. Let's just, uh, you know, I can't. So it looks like this is our limit. Yeah, yeah. I, well, I just want to do a little bit of exploring. I, li I like the way, you know, we can climb like that. That's quite nice. It looks like we can't go any further here. All right, I'll go back then. Don't worry, cut, cut it all out, you know. It's not quite so open as the first one because you know you got go, you, you generally got to you know do a quest and then run back, do a quest, go back, do a quest, go back, and I found that a little bit irritating. And you know it sh there should be a lot more than that. It should be Can at least I don't know, from I'm someone take something from there to there, which is on your way or something. But there's a lot of to and fro in. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to run all the way just so that uh, I can do as fast as I can and get to the other place. But, um, so I'm pressing having to keep doing this. It keeps saying having this main one the whole time, so I've got to keep going into the thing. Yeah, it, it, see, it does this, but it doesn't seem to be like highlighting it, saying, you know, it is telling me to go back there. Which is where I've been, but I didn't see anybody. Did you see anybody? So that's why I went back. But I didn't see anybody up there, did you? So I think I'll leave it. I think the other one, yeah, I think the other one is a priority, which is why I'm, I was going back. I was, it could be, you know, because there are, you know, you have got to do certain things sometimes in this game, in a, you know, it's a good idea to do it in this a certain way. And head towards these people, otherwise, you know, it could, you know, you may go off the beaten track and get lost a little bit. Where am I on here? Oh, you can set waypoints, right? Uh, where am I on here? Doesn't it not say where it is? See, I, th I thought this would be an improvement. Oh, right, I'm there. Uh, in the city, yeah. Yeah, in the first one, it also encourages you to go to the main city uh, because, you know, that's where you can change your vocation all the rest of it. So it is a good idea to go to this main city as soon as possible because then all your options for vocations will open up uh, as well. So it's a good idea to do this stuff. Now, as you say, these creatures are going to be here again so it, it, I don't I don't mind spawn points but I, I want it to be in a way so that you don't keep getting them over and over again I find that a little bit irritating you have unlimited arrows by the way uh, I think I think you know basic arrows are unlimited but you have to like do some of those 
yeah, ex yeah, experience points. Now I was tempted to do a mage, but um, they seem to do really well. I mean, I don't need to do anything. <laughs> and they do do this little clap hands. <laughs> it's good fun. But it's a good idea to pick up all that stuff that these uh, creatures drop. And have a little look around for flowers so you can create in your potions. Let's keep on going. So it does highlight, but I oh know, I can't always, I can't always see them. The flames before it is too late. What flames? That pawns are rendered immobile when they help. Yeah, so if if a pawn gets damaged too much, then they would just kind of a bit like you know Lydia. You know she will fall down like that, and she she, she can't fight or anything. So you have to kind of like partly heal them, but you, you only partly heal them. So you can uh, approach them and you can uh, like grab all of them and you can help them up and get, you, they gain a little bit of health back. So. Uh, In the moment, I can't get away. So I'll try and help, but I've got to get these, get rid, of the, rid of these first. Uh, I presume a headshot will help. Uh, people try and uh, heal us a bit. So he's down. But let's get rid of these a minute. Uh, yeah. Not a very really good shot, am I? <laughs> But we will get much better types of shot. Have I got a different... Uh... No, I haven't got a different skill yet. It was a huge reticle, but I'm still missing. <laughs> and uh, we can uh, revive him now. Forgive me for being a burden arisen. All right, I'll let you off. But I like the quick, quick pickup. I must admit, I favour the quick pickups now. I must I like animations. It is nice, you know, to actually have a quick one for a change. So I, I do like, like the quick pickup now. It's a little bit quicker before, you know, you actually have an animation. So I do actually quite like that. Uh, but it will do an animation for some things, like, you know, pile of, pile of rocks and things. It will, but it's always a good idea to just click on it and collect it because you will need all these materials. We go in here and see if I can make some stuff. So you, literally, you you get something like this, and you uh, if there's a possibility of combining, it will say what uh, you can combine it with the branches. Might be a good time to rest and heal the party. Yeah, good idea, ghost. All right. So this here, um, it is. Uh, Arrows that adheres to the target and explodes after a time, if not if or if attacked, turning, tarring the target, uh, expending when using a tarring shot or an incendiary shot. So you can actually light this and it will catch fire. So uh, let's make all three of those. So there's going to be a lots of types of arrows, paralyzing ones, things that send them to sleep. So it's a good idea to. Uh, make a lot man try and mix all these things all right so go through each one and try to make as many as you can okay see if it will combine with anything like that all right uh, uh, food will go off uh, so you've got to make sure that um, you get you know when you get food you try and cook it as fast as possible uh, although I, thought I couldn't find that way of cooking it uh, in the first one, I didn't get that far, only level 25, so I didn't get to the really high level stuff. I was useless against dragons, which we we will get in here. Uh, and the fighting technique for the dragons is good because you could like you know hit them in the eye and blind them. You, you, know, you can do a smoke smoke thing. There's all kinds of things you can do. And if you get a new the new vocation. Uh, they can swirl things and totally disorientate them, and they can attack each other. 
so they could attack another uh, you know another enemy this is where I gotta go but it's like the quest is still not staying there so I don't know I'm a little bit confused uh, on the map at the moment because us keeps coming back here for some reason I don't know why it keeps moving I, I'm totally confused to be honest <laughs> because uh, I find that it's not great the how this sort of quest system works you know it's not like I can do a pointer it, it just gives a circle there are faults with this game was why it won't beat Skyrim because it just falters on the quest side so yeah I, I am struggling uh, I struggled in the first game because of this uh, I really did right let me try and suss it out I'll, I'll get better don't worry but it says deliver the provisioner's note to Marcus, which is up there, which is kind of where we're heading. So, uh, right, I just want to, yeah, so I was going the right way then. But I've got to, to Marcus. But I wish it would have a pointer. In the first one, it did have a pointer on there to say where you had to head to. But this time, it's not. So, uh, it seems to default by going to that one, which I don't want it to do. Uh, can you mark well I think you you might be able to actually actually let me try Take that then but it is an awkward system I you know I don't think it's the best system in the world so I can like go here I can't mark that but I could say click that to go to the map all right and but I can't go over there and say oh I want to set that as a marker so it's a little bit uh, fiddly the system you know, it, it, I just find it a little bit, a little bit old. You know, when you improve a game, you know, you, you should, you know, improve all that side of it. And it hasn't really progressed from the first game. It's basically almost the same stuff, with just a couple of embellish, embellishments, really. Now I got it on like, I think I got it on quite a lot. Yeah, well, that's the main one, but I'm trying to do this other one, the Ghost, where it says, you know, the second one. I'm trying to do this one, which isn't highlighting. So it's very near where I am, actually. I'm very near to him. So there should be somebody here, and I've got to deliver it to somebody. Was it that person that was standing here somewhere? Which is why I wish it was a, mar a marker to say where it was. Because didn't we speak to somebody earlier? It's just around here, wasn't it? I just think, you know, these are the things they could have improved on. So I've got to go in here and do that. It doesn't show it until I go into the quest menu. And then I can't move it. <laughs> so, I don't know, I just think things could have been done better. Because I'm right next to it, really. Ah, I think I see him. I think this I see him. Used as a material. Just here. But it would be nice if just a little world. marker. A job well done if I do say so myself. Right, okay. It's time advances in the game, so you might meet someone on the road and um, may move on. I, I, what I'll do now is I won't take on anything else, and I'm going to go to that something? main quest bit. I've got to deliver that to him. I presume. What is that? Yeah, I'll... right. Okay. This is from Sir Geoffrey, is it? Let's have right. a look then. Okay, go. So yeah, this side I do you like because this bit has well been improved. I thought I was finished. Why should I have to do all this on my own? I've got plenty to carry as teeth. Say, your arms look free. You can handle that list in my stead. 
Come on. Make haste. I would depart for the encampment even a moment sooner. Well, go on. You know what to do. We know what we're looking for, but not where it is. I suppose there's not. So I've got yet another one. Oh no, 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 it's all right. Picure, yeah, see? So is it, I think it's going to keep on doing this stuff. So what I'm going to do, I am going to ignore this quest now. Because it's going to keep asking us to go here, go there, whatever. All right. So <laughs> I would like to go to that main one. All right. Because when we go to that main one, this will we'll get to the main town. And this is when we can change vocations. We can do all kinds of stuff. And that's the stuff I want to get into. So uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go there. I, if that, that is on the way, so hopefully I can see that person. But, but you know, it would be nice if they just had a little marker or something. That, you know, a little cross or something. So that I know how close I am to them. Because it's, you know, it's annoying that it's not showing on there. I could do a waypoint, I suppose. Are you high enough to do the main... Well, i got to get to the main town. Once we get to, uh, you know, the this main town area uh, we could do a lot Hang more there, once we I'm get there and yes we could do lots of side quests which is a good idea because it gives you experience but the game opens up once you get to that main place so that's what I did in the first game and um, things really took off uh, in, in many ways I find it a little bit complicated at times in this game, can be a little bit awkward, in, I would say awkward more, more than anything, but it does other things so good that you, you kind of overlook it a bit. Now I should, I should rest actually, actually I should rest, because it's, it's, it's approaching night time, uh, although I've got no idea where it's night time. So I think I'll go in there, we'll go in that place and we'll rest. After you, arisen. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll have a rest, go to... Right, I'll have a rest. I've beds to spare if you're looking for lodgings. And if you'd like to change your vocation... 1,000?! <laughs> Let's see if I've got anything I can withdraw. <laughs> oh, I think these are the... These may well be the kind of pre-order bonus thing i didn't mean to do a pre-order bonus just just wanted to get it for me before my birthday so uh it just so happened to be just a day or two before so what i could do is how much is this if i find out what they are i might be able to sell it because i could now i want to know whether this is better than what i have i think it is yeah so this bow is actually better. So I could take that. Uh, that is... That was, that's some blades, so that'd be good. A, a staff I don't really need. I could sell that. So I'm going to sell that one. Um, shield, I'm probably not... I'll, I'll leave that. I'll probably not use a shield. And sword, on, I'll, I'll probably give to my follower. All right, and then I'm gonna. Oh, combine. Oh, yeah, I think you can. Yes, we can also do a bit of combining as well if we have stuff left to combine, which we haven't. Uh, so it don't look as though I can on that. I think it'll be highlighted if we could. Now, uh, have they got anything? I can't switch to that one. Usually, you could switch to the other one. Zoom that is it, wasn't it? Do I take it all? Yes. Okay. All right, now I need to rest. One thousand. How many? Um, hang on. Oh, I have three thousand. Okay, just checking. Although that says ten thousand. Oh no, it's okay. All right. I rest some more rest. because that'll be a safer time. Okay. Right, sorry, it's taking me, you know, it takes me a little while to get, get back into it. I know, I say I'm not the greatest gamer in the world. It takes me a while to, to, to get going on things. Off we go. <sighs> right. So I could go into this rift and get some, uh, get some better ones. But I, I just want to, like, move on, really. I know what you're saying, it's probably a bad idea, but... 
<laughs> I'm trying to push forward to the main town because this is when things will really take off. Uh, so I did it the first game. It was okay. I, I, I got didn't really get things that were so strong I couldn't handle it because the you know with with the party with me, you know it wasn't too bad. So I think we'll be all right. Um, it's going to be like you know these goblins and things like that on the way. Now you, you you might pass people which you can you know could be like so that could also be a pawn. So there are sometimes some around that you can just pick up on your travels. But obviously there might be some areas, especially at night if you go somewhere you know you might you know might be now a goose then? or skeletons or something like which that. Way? What are we tarrying for? Onward, I say. I'll keep running because it's quicker because you're going to do a lot of to and fro in. I've a knack for gathering items and am ever on the hunt for new finds. I'll gladly try out any useful mechanisms I espy. So, this is a pawn and they actually stop you now, which I didn't do in the first one. So, again, I could like, say, you know, I would like that one. That cost me rift, rift crystals, which... I don't think I have got risk crystals at the moment. So and it's high too high a level for me anyway. So thanks for that. Just yonder looks So as I say they will meet them on the road. So I'm trying to get further. Yeah, she's level five and we are what? What well, actually what are we? Level five. No, what are we? Oh I've got 120 uh, rift things. Equipment. What level am I? How do I find out what level? Am I covering it or something? Status. Am I covering it? <laughs> Anybody know what level I am? Oh yeah, this is where we can uh, swap between characters. Not really sure what uh, what level I am. I can't remember. Was it level or level four? Right. Okay. Thanks, guys. Right then. Because I, I, I couldn't see a way past uh, all this, so I'm not sure where we got to go. There was a bit where we could cross, I do believe, like a bridge or something. And again, it kind of goes into that one all the time, so you got to like, press that and go that. Right, so it looks like we can go across here somehow. Let me just check. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a bridge there. Right now, I'm not sure if these are... I think you can... Uh, you know, they, these are kind of wild creatures that you can uh, take down. You get some useful stuff from it. But they might attack you. Well, help me, guys. You spy what? I suppose there can be no harm in bringing this along. Scraggle B. So yeah, they're identical to the first game. In that all the names, everything is identical to the first game. So as I say, I think it's just the first game with it with more embellishments, more graphical detail. I, I don't think this is too high too high detail, but I did put a limit on the frame rate which maybe it dropped the detail a bit, so it could be that is why. But I could do a lot of exploring, you know, there's going to be chests hiding everywhere, so it is a good idea to do that. Um, so I'll have a little look around. But I don't want to tarry too long. Have a report to make, master. <laughs> what is over there? Is that eggs? Don't know. Press left trigger, then uh, it will put away your weapon. Oh heck! Oh, it's Melv. Okay, great Melv. Stronghold raised by Dragonfly. Oh dear! Oh, so it's not the main city. <laughs> this is something on the way, and this is, looks like it's been attacked by a dragon. So this great. Is the scars left by the dragon's assault are plain to see. Mayhap a walk through the streets would help jog your memory. When the Arisen appears, so too does the dragon. It is an immutable truth of this world. I did, did I? Oh right, okay, thanks, Ghost. 
But yeah, I, I, I don't know. I always want barrel on things, you know, because. But it was kind of the opposite way of I think where I want to go, and anyhow, you know, I'd have to go all the way back, you know. And I'd... <laughs> I suppose it is. But it is a good idea to do them. I'm just trying to, you know, progress a bit so I can like get a better weapon or whatever. Now what I'm going to do is, oh, sorry. All right, who said that? Is it you? I've a selection of wares that's sure to please. So have I. I might sell some stuff. Let's see now, what have we got? 35, I'll tell you what the price is in this, is great. Yeah, booms, you see, we can combine those. Uh, see, this stuff, I could never cook it, so I don't know where uh, we can cook it. But I might sell this. See, I'll sell this. And we should get a nice bit of money for it. So I'll sell that. Alright? Because I, I, I am not a stat, you know, that kind of person. See, now we're dripping in money. So I don't want to shield. So this is what I did, did on the Dark Arisen, you know. Anything I didn't want, I got rid of. Sword? I probably might give that to my uh, my other friends there although we haven't really got a fighter so uh i'm not sure if he can use it but i'll keep these two because obviously these are better equipment than we have i haven't got much to buy right what have you got what you got to buy young sir because i could do with a nice shirt all right let's see so yeah you can we can make stuff for this so i won't buy this stuff yet because i'll probably be able to make it soon a ring of aggression, a ring that grants power to the wearer whose spirit resonates with with its with its mouth. boost strength. Five thousand prices are very high in this game, but you do get good you know good stuff back at a good price. So so I won't buy any of that because in the first one I just made it. Looks like that's it. Mind if I talk? On, have a gander as you pass by. Oh, well hope to see you again okay good luck on with your backpack no purchases to be made today i see i just hope the shopkeep understands browsing and this is a good game for exploring if you want to explore there's lots of little things hidden around it's a good idea to look for them. oh no, i've got my head on top of the character again who are you i would like to know I'm going to look around because it could be a chest or something. Maybe have a look at the settings. I want to see if the graphics have improved the graphics. So I don't have a rotation on. Display graphics. Right. See, I, I put ray tracing on. I thought, I don't know, really bump everything up. So what I could do is, I'm not quite sure what that says. I think I, I think I'm trying to keep it as a steady frame rate, but I don't like motion blur, so I'll put ray tracing on because when we get to like a big city and stuff like that, you know, we'll, we'll see, uh, you know, you know, and it does, that's uh, some ray tracing, which is uh, quite good. Getting worried now, something's going to happen, isn't it? No, what do you want me to do? What, you don't want me to progress? <laughs> Help! They are very pretty, aren't we? That is most unfortunate. But deadly. But it doth not release thee from thy fate. Max 30. Yeah, yeah, I think I set it max 30 to hide out the frame rate a bit. Well, hello there! <laughs> Howdy, partner! <laughs> I did big eyes, I thought. I don't know, I like big eyes, you know, Gollum, you know, you name it, I love them.
Uh oh. <laughs> this is like the dragon, you know, the main one. Oh yeah, now when we when I played the first game, you had an intro where you were a character with your pawn and it did a little intro, like a little fight scene and all that lot, and then it went to like create a character, you know, something then something happened, and then you ended up in a village and you started doing all these quests. So this looks like it's, it's, it's doing it a little bit later this time. So uh, I don't believe this is us. So it's something that happened before, I presume. Well, let's. Uh, apparently, this one, this one was a fighter. So I know. Let's go in there and let's rip this guy up. Although uh, I don't know, I'd dump out of the way, I presume. Because he will. Yeah, he will swipe at you. All that kind of stuff, but uh, we won't be able to kill this guy. Right, what can we do? But go on. Yeah. I'll bring him down. This is the last thing I do. <laughs> See, I've got a trophy just for doing that. Hello! Oh, that is us! How did we suddenly change to that? I'll never know. No, oh, it may not be us. <laughs> Probably isn't. Could be a previous incarnation. I've got shields, alright. Oh, I think he may have caught me there with the fire, just a little bit. Yeah, possibly, possibly that uh, we, uh, singed me a little bit there. But don't worry, it is a bad scratch. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, it's very hot now. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is the kind of weird bit. In the first one, you know, it, it, you know, it doesn't kind of make a lot of sense to me, you know. But apparently he has my heart now, which, you know. And that's Dragon Speech. It says you shouldn't shouldn't have killed Parthenax. And, you know, but miraculously, we'll survive that. This moment forth, thou art arisen, so apparently we've been brought back. <laughs> I was different, I'll give it that. But yeah, we will be doing Skyrim on Saturday with Eowyn. I, I wasn't up to doing Saruman because, you know, I thought oh, I'd have to put all the stuff on. And... <laughs> I wasn't quite in that Saruman evil mood. But it will be back on Tuesday. Can you hear me, sir? Sir, stay with me. Speaking of Parth, I found a back scratcher for Parth mod. Did you? I don't think back uh, getting a back scratcher for him would help bring him back, goes. <laughs> but uh, you know, I'll try it if it's. <laughs> no, there it is. <coughs> Text disappeared. Right, let me just re reassemble that. <laughs> he found a back scratcher for him. That's nice. <laughs> well, hello there. You're pretty. Goodness. How are you feeling? Oh, a bit um, burnt off, to be honest. A bit overdone. This is the second time I've watched over you like this, isn't it? Is it? You do not remember? Then have you forgotten? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Protected me from the dragon's flames. You withstood the fire in my stead <coughs> and were well and truly charred. It was. Oh, it, it was. It was terrible. I have thought you like forfeit. No, no, strong. Hear the beating of your heart. You hung on, and by some miracle, survived. Oh. Yeah. I seem to have become an arisen. Arisen. I'm afraid I don't understand your meaning. 
I've been brought back. It it could be like what? It was so that your wounds could be treated. Though I fear you have no memory of this either. I remember it vividly. <laughs> sorry, I'm just munching a biscuit. Sorry. I am but in a bed. Could you not wait? Has he come for you? We are to part so soon then. Mayhap you will visit me again someday. But of course. Till then. Take care. Bye, love. <laughs> Never <soon. laughs> Sorry, just a manly thing. Sorry. You must be the one. You match my soldier's description. I'm glad I found you. The ruler of Vermont, currently convalescing in the capital, became arisen here in this very village. Hey. If you claim the same, then word must be borne to the capital. Exactly. I dispatched a missive before coming here, though I doubt the matter can be settled without your presence. No, I doubt Be willing to accompany me to the capital. If you truly are arisen, you will be received with... Hooray, we're heading to the main town. Oh, but forgive me. I scattered my soldiers in a bid to find you. I would not depart without them. We shall have to wait till they are reassembled. Oh, how long will that be? Bit, Sir Leonard was asking after you as well. Why? Mayhap now would be a good time to speak with him. Last I saw, he was having a drink at the inn. Was that the inn? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Let us speak with everyone we can think of who might know or to use. Evening. Have you some business with the apothecary, sir? No. Dreadful sorry if I was in your way. It's all right, I'll let you off. No, I'm not lost or not, sir. Yeah. You needn't worry yourself on my account. I'm not. <laughs> I'm an apothecary in training, you see. My family runs a little shop in Vernworth. So when I heard tell of a medicine only to be found in this village, I thought I'd come and fetch some for us. All right. I journey all by myself as well, if you can believe it. Oh, I believe it. But, well, as luck would have it, I've not enough gold for the medicine. Oh, tough. It will be a shame to return empty-handed after coming all this way. But what more can I do? You could ask for a loan. I could offer my aid. 10% interest. What? You'd do that? You'd get the medicine for yeah, me? Yeah, of course I would. How long did, have I got? I suppose there's no harm in that. If you're really sure. Oh, sir. I'd be most grateful. I'm a, I'm a lady. Seems my luck's not as rotten as I thought. I'll wait right here for your return, sir. And many thanks for your kindness. That's one of the children of uh, the Joker. We could make the fruit bobber and ourselves. Uh, what, have we got to go there? Yeah, so, yeah, the map's not bad. I mean, it's better than Skyrim, put it that way. So, it's not great. It's not, you know... Forbidden West or anything like that, but it's functional. Uh, Simply purchase some at Rune's apothecary here in Mel. So I know I press that and it says to oh though, hang on. Is it press and hold? Hang on. Oh. Ah, right, okay. You walk doubtless encounter dozens of people throughout your venture. Their disposition towards you will vary, but you can increase their affinity for you by treating them kindly, heeding their their requests and giving them gifts. Great. Uh, of course, not just any old gift will do. Everyone has a preference and you must select the right gift for the right person in order for their affinity to improve. Gift giving it will only increase the recipient's affinity once per day. Shame. But, uh, you know, I could learn all this stuff and, you know, what my skills are and all that kind of... Yeah, we use a combination of those buttons and if you hold L1, uh, you know, on the, on the controller, 
uh, or the appropriate key on PC, then that will increase your score. So if you look at our, uh, if I get that up against a uh, darker background, right? You'll see it's got that, but if we press this button here, then it has the, it will have alternative things that you can do, okay? So, you swap between them, so just like dash, oh, you got a dash. I enjoy tackling oh, sorry. fierce foes and prefer combat's thrills to gathering items. I am confident and may act independently. Good. What? Do you mind if it's a bit of small talk? To command, this is my pawn. You couldn't um, brush my hair, could you? This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Perhaps new discoveries await nah. us above. Oh, there's a wrist stone. So I'm going to go to wrist stone. I'll uh, avoid that. We've got to find the inn. That looks like weapons. Yet if what were to befall him. An inn. I'm trying to find an inn. I mean, they're usually big places in the first one. It's quite a big, big place. It, it could be that. I mean, that looks like an apocryphy. I mean, that looks like weapons. It does seem to be down this way. Where is the inn? Where have we got like go into the map? Down there, right, okay. Hey Ray Ray, I am a Danish Viking who follows your Skyrim playthroughs. When do you play? Uh when do you play the game again? I'll be playing on Saturday, um uh Oak Deer. Although you know, hopefully you know I've got somewhere near that with that but I doubt it. Uh Ikear? I mean I don't know, I'll Please excuse me if I don't get it quite right. Let me just write your name down, IKR10. Uh, please tell me if that's anywhere close. And, you know, if you want me to call me something, let's call you something else. It's easier to say. Yeah, it's half past three. We always stream at half past three. It's normally Tuesdays with Skyrim uh, and Saruman, who is a uh, a conjuring wizard. It's not a Thursday. What what for today we're doing Dragon's Dogma. Next week it'll be Elden Ring, but we'll probably progress in and concentrate more on 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 Dragon's Dogma uh, as as it gets too hard in uh, Elden Ring. Uh, and then Saturdays is always our Shield Maiden with Sword and Shield uh, with Eowyn. Okay. I'm trying to find uh, uh, at half past three UK time. Well, I wouldn't remind them of that ghost, you know, because you know that's just a, just a small point. I wouldn't worry too much about the path next thing. That was just a simple mistake. <laughs> because you know, do we really trust Parthenax? Because you know, I put a video in my uh, playlist, you know, like Skyrim tutorials and all that lot, that gives the arguments for and against. Anybody find the, uh... okay, right, let me, uh... it, it was, it must have been down here. Yeah, mo uh, most people do, Ghost, uh, yeah, most people do, do. I did it because I've never done it before, and Saruman's evil, so I wanted him to do something evil, and that, I thought, well, it's, it's, that's an evil thing to do. Let's try an air in a minute and see what's in here. Oh, is is well, the uh, him. you're the one who saved Ulrika's life, aren't you? That's right, and uh, hail and well met to you. She told me all about it. It was a very brave thing you did. Of I'm course, that Ulrika's as good as my daughter. Here, uh, consider this a small token of my gratitude. Is it a huge amount of money? Now tell me, are you registered with a guild? <laughs> What's that? But when Eowyn says, be foul, <laughs> be gone foul creature, it's also kind of, hang on, the text has decided to disappear again. That's the sort of basic stuff YouTube will fix, isn't it? The foul creature also kind of funny. Yeah, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the two characters. I'm trying to do a little bit of, you know, of 
kind of enter that role. I know, especially Sarah Mango, we're on top of that. <laughs> That's it, I'm enjoying it. Are you registered with the Guild? Uh, no, I'm not. Perhaps you already know this, but registering with a Guild will grant you access to specialised training, which really? comes in very useful when pursuing a vocation. <sighs> well yes, now, please. that won't do. You need only speak with the innkeeper to register. All right. Go on, it will only take a moment. Well, I think you'll tell me something about your... your if there is what you wish to know of vacations, mayhap I can advise you. Oh, I do know what they are. I'm not thick. Well, you want me to join... Well, I'm, I'm an archer. Naturally, it is a vocation for those who seek to master the bow, an exceptionally useful long-ranged weapon. Well, yeah. At close range, however, a bow is nearly more useful than a walking it's true, stick. True, I, true. The secret to being a successful archer is maintaining distance. Yeah, go said. <laughs> uh, right, okay, well, ask about other Should vocations. You dedicate yourself to a vocation you'll find that new paths to master will open up to you over time. That's what we're trying to do. Try as you like. All right, I will. Do you want me to ask every single one? Because I know what they do. For those who seek to master the yeah, sword, sword and shield. Yeah, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. I am a fighter myself. Oh, well, well. Should well, there come a time when you impress me with your prowess, I might be willing to impart... Well, God, I'll, I'll ask everyone. No. Sorry to butt in. Tis a vacation for In case that will progress. To master the mystical arts, magic. Mages can cast a wide array of offensive spells and aid their allies with magical support. Excellent. However, the more powerful the spell, the longer one must yeah. spend in counting it. It does take a little bit too long, I think, but thus a mage like is spell. unlikely to last long on the field of battle without allies to protect them. Could I, could I, what, could I, uh, what, turn down the uh, snacks and candy? Oh, oh, I see, what, me having snacks? Uh, don't want to get fat watching your streams. <laughs> Sorry, is it, is it a bit distracting because it makes you want to have a snack? What? All right, I'll try and eat them before then. Just especially for you. Right, and then the thieves. For those who seek to master the dagger. I'm just seeing if this will like, advance like it. Heft, though this grants them the advantage of speed. Thieves favour light armour, which yeah. leaves them more vulnerable to attacks than those of so other vocations. Their talents depend upon their finesse and ability to compensate for the length of their blades through sheer agility. Okay. Well, I'll dec decline the offer anyway, for now. There is no wrong choice in any case. I already told It's entirely up to you which vocation you adopt. Yeah, yeah. But I shan't take up any more of your time. Oh, Pray good. be well. The Meister's teaching is the most powerful skill that can be acquired by each vocation. Learning a Meister's teaching requires the use of a special tome, which you will receive if you impress the vocation Meister. With your abilities however the true potential of the skill can only be realized by those whose vocation rank is high enough moment long awaited okay. i knew it was only a matter of time before your skills reached a new height they do say good things come to those who wait level five oh oh i see that's how much it goes up see i like that see did you see that those those went up a nice fair bit and i like that and in the Elden ring i mean it goes up but the but the tittle. There's a ladder here. After you here at the inn, we also offer changes of vocation for those who seek it. Really? I get so few customers, <laughs> you see, that I can manage both roles myself. But enough about me. Did you need something? Can I change to um? <laughs> see, I, I I would like to un unlock a skill. Or, yeah, you know, that's you know, skills to my uh, character and augments. Yes, yes, I'd love to jet. So, see, what we can do, we can acquire this. You see, see, yeah, you know, we've got a, you know just a basic shot in a moment, but that's a sweep shot, so we can you know, hit a few at the same time. We've got a dire shot, which does a devastating uh, shot that knocks down a smaller target. So, uh, when you insert a shot, arrows become even more powerful and they loose the instant the bow is drawn. Excellent. Or we can have keen sight, 
which means we can zoom in that will be very handy I might do that and you get these kind of special points and explore oh, I'll tell you what I'll go for exploding chop so we press on it like that and I'll spend 300 discipline points so those oh yeah DC is discipline points uh, let me just have a check what you said there, there Ikea uh, now I'm better be now I better be a bit serious. I'm playing Skyrim myself on PS5, play Skyrim on PC, PS3, PS4, and now PS5. Well done. And I'm uh, doing a uh, what's that? A barefooted halfling hobbit named uh, Bastian Humpy Dancer. Brilliant. Oh, that's, that's great. I mean that fits in beautifully with with uh, with the lore, doesn't it? At the moment, we've just got you know we have, we've only got this barrel shot. It fires in rapid succession like that. Oh, oh! I didn't know we could do it in rapid succession. Right. So I don't know. Sweep shot, dire shot, keen sight, which would be very handy. I, I'm going to spend on that. All right. And we can place this where we want. So let's do it there. Now. I haven't got enough to get in there on, but I could have to say that one. Sweep shot, dire shot. Yeah, so we can brace ourselves a really big shot. So let's see. And we can expand on these as our location improves. So I'm going to do that one. And I'm going to put it, say, there. All right, but then, so, oh, the, oh yeah, I didn't think of that. I could have spent it on the others as well. <laughs> well, you know, PC play here, but Ray Ray prefers consoles. Yeah, I, I, my PC is it's just old and doesn't play all the new games. So that I, I'm on console and I just don't want to, you know, PC I find a lot more fiddly to mess around with. But, um, Right, I've done that. Now rest. We'll have, we'll have a rest. A good till sleep morning. will ensure we are prepared for the morrow. All right then. By the way, I also play modern Skyrim. You do, you do, do you? Excellent. Because yeah, we all like modern Skyrim, uh, don't we? In the moment, my mods are not working, Come, working right. And I'd love to have three thousand mods to transform my game to the present day, but. Uh, yeah, no such luck. I haven't got that kind of PC. Wow. Ingredients are plentiful. I came out the back door. <laughs> Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? Well, I'm there. If I get transmitted somewhere else, or do I go down the stairs? Looks like I went down the stairs. How did that happen? Oh, of course I was down in the uh, you know, bedroom sleeping. Anybody over here? Wow, next of food. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Do you want to find Nick? Uh, is there anything around the back uh, I can have access to? So this is where you've been. Come with me to the village entrance. The watchhead's waiting for you. Oh, sorry, What's going to gather some information? Hello again, sir. Say, have you brought some fruit robber in for me? No. <laughs> oh, apparently I have. <laughs> what a stroke of so luck. This is what it looks like. Brilliant. Many thanks, sir. <laughs> I haven't much to offer in return. Money. I'll be sure to tell Grandfather what you did for us. He'll want to reward you proper like. <laughs> My heart is light as a feather after that exchange. Right, where, where do I go for the granddaddy? Because, <laughs> yeah, we'd like to see our granddaddy and pick up the loot. Right, let me have a look at that. Well, apparently I'd have to see him at some point. Right, so I say, let's head towards the town and affirm my identity has arisen. Or we can go there.
Is that where we are? <laughs> It'd be nice if it said if that was where we are, wouldn't it? Now. Oh, that's a good shot. Right. It's not a perfect map, but it's not bad. I think I can do a marker, so I can... But I don't know how you do it. Oh, I see. R3. Oh, so you get it. You can put a marker there. But... So let me click that. See if that shows. See if that shows on the map. That might be a good way. Of, oh yeah, that is a good way of doing it. Okay, we'll do that then. This isn't much to you dare. But it is a good idea to do all the quests and things, uh, because that will raise, you know, raise your affinity, give you skills, all kinds of stuff. Generally, when I get to a town, I generally look in every every little house, every little nook and cranny, climb the stairs whatever try and climb up on the roof all kinds of stuff because sometimes there's stuff hidden there all right but i might do that kind of stuff off camera or uh or if you know if, if we happen to see it hell if you've a moment to spare i'd like a word as you can see we're rebuilding a task that can always benefit from another pair of hands what say you would you be willing to help i'm on my way to the town Uh, time limit. Excellent. You're a good sort. I'll not soon forget this. Yeah, I wouldn't say the animation for speaking all that is great. Here's what I need from you. A bask of Saurians has made their nest outside the village. Though they're yet to cause any oh, harm, no. their proximity makes the villagers uneasy. Yeah, yeah, they're they're not very nice. I'd like to enlist your <laughs> aid in driving them away. What now? Prepared <laughs> some explosive casks and left them by the village. Really? Use them to send the Saurians scattering. Okay, that sounds uh. A Saurian nest so near the village. Set his priority world. quest. Yes. Let us see the explosive casks there as quickly as we may. So yeah, I do like this. Like, you know, it looks like they're speaking. You know, it does this little kind of text thing. I quite like that. Yeah, I don't. They're a little bit tougher. But you know. There is one thing I don't like about Saruman. I bet you know what it is. Yeah, it's probably the fact that you know some part of that. You know, it's, uh, it, it was just a simple slip of the tongue <laughs> or the staff, uh, and I know it just fell off the cliff. It's not my fault. <laughs> but, so I may have upset people with that, but I've never done it, and uh, I wanted to do all the options in uh, in in things. Uh, I don't know about you, but I like the uh, all the options in things. Uh, excuse me, sir. Well met. Hey, all, I'm well met. Uh, I talk to you. Go on, have a gander as you pass by. I am. Do you want me to sell things then? They haven't picked up much, have they? <laughs> All right, I may, uh, I may, uh, I'm going to keep this stuff because I want to combine it. Although I'll probably put on a bit of weight. Right, let's see. I'll probably sell that that sword. Although no, I won't. No, I'll give it. I'll give it to my father. Yeah. What's that? Is that what I have? Oh, I didn't know I had that. I had that. Right. Well, I'm quite happy. As I am. Hope to see you again. Unless you're giving it away free. Actually, that's a good point. Or are you giving it away free? Hang on, wait a minute. Are you giving away something free? Are you the guy that I helped? No, I don't look like it. Pleasure doing business with you. Tarry on. And I'm trying to see if that was the person. Is it ah, this one? First and foremost, ah. will you accompany me to the It should be a very used main, your main ball, but it's a lot harder. Uh, will you accompany... I will, right, if, if you like. 
Are you ready to depart, or do you need some time? No, I'm I'm cool. I just slept. I'm ready now. Good. Then let us be on our way. All right. Do you want me to follow you? That's priority. All right. We'll set that as a priority request. <laughs> right. It's a follow mission coming up. Uh, I do like the fact that they actually trot and run a little bit. Which is always nice. Alright, let's try one of these um, special uh, skills that I have. Uh, let's see. Uh, steady shot. Oh, nice shot. Anything on him? Oh, come on. Fuck slacking. Usually, the, when I you know, pick up this like meat stuff, I've never found a way of cooking it, so it, it just goes off. But I think you can mix it with things. Well, I couldn't find the person that, down there, so uh, so yeah, we will get constantly, uh, you know, irritated by things. So it's part part and parcel of the uh, experience, which. Can be irritated, I suppose, but I suppose it's all giving you experience, isn't it? We're very nimble. I think I did it on the, the slightly taller side, like I don't know, an average side, or maybe slightly taller. But yeah, as I say, every two seconds, you know, we're gonna hit something. I don't know, I don't mind it, but I, you know, I don't want it like, all the time, you know, I don't want it too much. Wow, he's totally slice it. Now, when I first played uh, Dragon's Dog, I was a fighter, so I, I was going in with, you know, multiple blows, all kinds of stuff. Are we leaving already? I was just getting warmed up. Oh, hang on, am I going the right way? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, I might be going the wrong way. Hang on. Quest. Travel to the capital. Right, repeating text just gets on my nerves. I don't know about you, but it gets on my nerves. Where, where are we going? Where's the guy down there? Oh, we've got to go this way then. Come on, help! I don't know why, but I don't know why, but I mean, we just sort of get rid of my uh, followers. Because I don't think I need them. And I'm going up rapidly, eh? Right, which way are we supposed to be going? Left, right, forward or back? <laughs> Let's have a look. Where's our main quest? Hang on. Let's look. Hang on, hang on. We're supposed to be doing this. Where's that showing on the map? Where? Oh, there. Right, okay. And we are. Where are we? I mean, that's where we, we already were, isn't it? Oh no, it's up there. Okay, right, it's up there. Yeah, it's, it's confusing. I, I don't think it's perfect map. So I'm not quite sure which way he's we're supposed to be going. I'll, I'll follow them. Looks like it's that way. The Arisen is the lawful ruler of Vermont. So it has always been. I'm just going to turn up my uh, headphones because they are slightly quiet. Uh, I don't know if it's quiet to you, but it's a little bit quiet to me. So uh, our kingdom sees many pretenders. That's better. They are not dealt with lightly. 
Best hope you're not one of them. Oh. Regardless, do well not to invite my mistrust. Yeah, they kind of yeah, they've got this kind of like you know siren type of thing, you know, which is I quite like. I like that. Once they're on the ground, you know, then you can. Oh, I got afflicted. Oh yeah, go into like a, a dreamy, dreamy kind of you know, like, you know the, the kind of singing of the uh, sirens, you know, kind of can mess with your mind, man. All right, careful. But as you can see, standing, might say but I mean, if you like a lot of action, I mean, this is probably goes down the treat, doesn't it? Shut up! Right, uh, let's do my. Hang on, barrage shot. Oh, they're all dead. I mean, I don't have to do anything. I think I'll get rid of a couple of them. <laughs> It's just too easy at the moment, but I mean, it will get harder. God, I love that huge, whacking, great big thing there. All right. Oh, I don't know about you, Master, but I'm worn out. Might yeah, have rest, same here. Oh, there's a chest there, yeah. Look, look out for the chest. They are literally all over the place, uh, in hidden places. So. And if they don't break the first time, just keep doing it. It will break eventually. Ah, there you go. Some nice money. Ah, yeah, you do get some money. Yeah. I'll kick that as well. <laughs> and, uh, oh, by the way, you can do this as well. <laughs> Which I particularly like. I mean, you know, I want to help you out. Yeah. But, of course, it might affect your stamina a bit. But, you know. You can you can do that as well. <laughs> so it's got all kind of little quirk things in it in this game, which I actually really like. Uh, it's, it's just got something about it which is a little bit different, and the way you bring down monsters, yeah, that's good, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> and it can be useful, you know, because you might want to. Oh, hello, what's that? But I wouldn't go too far off the beaten track because sometimes, you know. If you like, you know, there's, a, there's like a fort or something, you know, like, you know, a little band of criminals. You know, might not be a good idea to take on too many. Yeah, open the gate, please. Thank you. We are, we are but a gentle elf with strong, a strongness. Who you call Watchhead? An arisen? Another pretender, you mean? I see no. the Sovereign's ascension has done little to stop such charlatans from plying their trade. I beg your pardon? It is uncertain. This one commands the loyalty of the pawns. Yeah, I think that's the other one speaking there. That one. What? Impossible. You know as well as I do that there can be but one arisen, and he's up in the palace. Oh, I disagree. I'm well aware of how preposterous the idea is, thank you. However, as I do not believe it my place to rule on such a matter, would make my report to the capital. If the claim is false, we will be rewarded right. handsomely and I do without like trouble. If the the claim fact is they've true, improved on this. Who can say? So there's a lot more of this kind of more interplay and talking and that. All so I really arranged. like. Come, let us pass through the gate. I just wish they improved the combat or maybe did some new ones uh, from the first one. Uh, or added more fast travel, or so, you know, I, I, I think because that a, a lot of people found that irritating, that you know, the, ver the lack of fast travel. Um, I think they should have made an improvement to that, and they should have given you more than one save slot. I think that's a huge mistake, considering you have ten vocations. So, uh, but you know, I'm not the uh, naysayer, am I? Where am I going? <laughs> Where am I going? It's, it's a fiddly kind of system, isn't it? It's like, press that. Then you press that. And that isn't... So it's... it's 
it's not quite perfect yeah roughly at three o'clock position right so am i traveling the right way because i can't see where my arrow is on there and it is a priority where am i at the moment so it's, you know it kind of flicks between it i just wish we could just you know look around the map and see what it is it kind of moves so fast i've got a job to just go through the gate okay yeah we went through the gate right an ox cart was meant to meet us ah. yet it is nowhere in sight Ought may have befallen it best we press on now as i as i say i'll gather this it might be it's repeated a lot of stuff in the first game because we had exactly the same thing to do in the first one where we had to, you know guide something to the uh you know the ox cart and defend it against enemies you know i, t I just wish they you know, it, it, which gives me the impression that they've just taken the base game, improved it graphically, improved the quest down, sure you know, speaking, but left them pretty much everything else the same. I don't know, I, I think they, should, they could have done a lot more, but I suppose it was easy for them to just to do that, I suppose. With an upgraded engine as well, obviously. No harm in picking a few. I mean, he seems to be going that way, so we'll follow him. Because I would like to get to the main town. Although, I mean, it seems like we're going a completely different way. Although it could be we've got to go around there, down here, up and down to there. So that so actually could be right. Now, you can go off the beaten track. It's a good idea to go off it and find all these little things. Oh, we can make a camp! All right, OK, now this is a new thing, which I, I, I like. The camps. If there isn't a camping kit to hand, they can pitch their tent. Oh, I don't think I've got one. Found it at set spots throughout the wilderness, much like staying at an inn in the town. Oh, great. See, this is all like this. But it would have been great if this was like a fast travel point. Uh, the rest of it can reduce, uh, restores their proper health and, and stamina and recovers their lost gauge. Uh, uh, Eventually, who seldom return to town should surely keep camp kit in their thing. Now, we I don't think we have one, so we need to buy one. Can but also afford the opportunity to grill meat. Oh, right, we can grill meat here. Good. Uh, granting a boost to certain stats upon consumption. Yeah. Finally, the quality of the meat, the greater the increase you get. Okay. For setting up camp, it would be prudent to eliminate any foes looking nearby and neglecting to so uh, only heightens the chance of an ambush while your party is, is at most vulnerable. Okay, so can we do a camp? Oh, we've got a modest one with us excellent and we've got a nice trophy nice to finally catch your stream and getting a uh, chance to say hi i'm off for now we'll teach we'll try to catch you in uh, mighty skyrim okay uh ike yar thank you very much for coming in it's very kind of you to come in uh hit, hit that like button all the way out please yeah. Thank you. I knew we'd go on about it. Or embarrassment. These moments are precious, to be sure. Do you mind if I cook? Right, so now... See, I, I, I couldn't see a cook function in the first game, so we're going to cook that. Let's have a look at this. Oh, we get a little animation. Oh, great. Excellent. Looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm take care, mate. Take care. Take care. Boys, but perhaps another night. I can scarce keep my eyes open. Wouldn't mind some more. Good Hello? sleep is the key to a good adventure. Bask in the what? Oh, I can bask in the uh, the heat of the heat. I cook any more? Oh, I can only cook once. Bit mean, isn't it? <laughs> so I'm getting used to the uh, items. Use and arrange equipment. Uh, where's all my... Boy goes in chat. Uh, the like has been done. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I, I mean, I know, I know we go on about it, but it really does help. 
uh, my channel and, uh, and I'm just going to get the 500 this year and I'm not asking for much there's only like 500 and I have about 300 280 something or I don't know so it'd be nice right where have we got to go which way do we go that way let's tarry on let us tarry forth so I've got to try and remember these buttons, uh, you know, it's that steady shot, that is barrage one, so I just want to try, try and, so we've really just got the barrage and the steady kind of thing, right, come along, come along, you go Watch ahead if you want, your pack, master. Let's see. well that's, that's a fine gift, uh, yes it would, uh, although I'll do it, to, you know, I'll, I'll to hump it all on my guy, because nothing you can do can take me away from my guy. Oh! <laughs> Didn't about you, but that could well have been an earthquake. I've got much to say at the moment. Ah, uh, I just wanted to talk to you. Ah, uh, matters of import. Next arisen? I'm not sure I have any idea. Greybeards? Yeah, it could be. I'm not sure. Maybe that is a little Easter egg. Serve my strength and endeavor to survive every battle by way of sound Dr. Fuddle on Twitter, thank you very much. Tactics. Thank you. Yeah, very, very awesome nine uh, uh, on Twitch. Uh, just got to put a nine on the end of Ray Ray Awesome. All right, well, th if you have done that, excellent. Thank you. But, well, I'm sorry, but I've got a cat. I'm good. I made that one myself, so... I'll add you to my favourites if you like, Beth. Or I'll add you to my favourites, okay? But for now, I just want to test him out, you know, find out what how his metal is. I'll, 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 I'll. Oh, sorry, it's just an attack of the deer. Right. Is there a problem? More marks of the dragon's fury. It's oh, is it? Do you mind if I shoot? Right, we'll take care. Anything off the any chests anywhere? But normally, I you know I would I would like you know if I was playing on my you know I'd be looking in every little nook and cranny, you know, because it's going to be stuff everywhere. So normally I'll be doing all this stuff. But in a minute, I'm uh, I'm cool. Where are you two going? Round, round in the bushes? Freshly rested as we are. This oh, that's it. Yeah, hack them. Try not to get hit. Let's do that bit. Ah, got it. I think we've got plenty to take care of all this lot. No Hello, Jeffrey. How are you, hand. Jeffrey? Yeah, normally he's got like a nice the, um, thing that, that shines like that. Oh, that's the kind of healing thing. I haven't really taken a lot of damage, to be honest. So I'll keep picking up the stuff. And it's probably a good idea now to combine some stuff together. So, let me write you down, Jeffrey. Thank you very much for coming in, Jeffrey. I'm back. I'm back. I got over my, uh, you know, go on. I got a little bit down, you know, things, things were all going wrong. I can't got to write your name down because the pen's decided it's packed up. <laughs> uh, but I feel a bit better now. My Skyrim on Xbox is oh, just, just a mess. In fact, in fact, I played on the vanilla with Grade Off the Grey Reborn, right? I played on the vanilla on that. And um, it was ridiculous because... Although on vanilla I got no mods on, it was you. It was showing one of my mods. Something on one of my mods was showing up on my vanilla game. So that's how messed up this whole situation is. Kill him. Yeah, that's it. Oh, the load on. Right, where's the other one?
Don't know, it's all cool. I'll just have to get rid of some, because Thobbles is a lot of people at the minute, helping us out as well. So, uh, this is very easy. In fact, it's, it's, all, it's probably easier than when I first played, so actually that's, that's a bonus. Because it's made this a little bit, a little bit easier. Now, I presume we've got to do the cart ride at some point, which, yeah, is really slow cart rides. Not all messages go through on my screen, so uh, sorry if I repeat myself. I am a new streamer on Twitch. Ow! I do an explosive one, but. <laughs> Uh, we're all cool, we're all cool. So far I'm finding it easier than the first game. Uh, some of them could be a little bit tough at times. Uh, especially at the beginning, but I'm finding it a little bit, a little bit easier. But we have, do seem to have a lot of uh, key battles here. I wonder if I can kick him. After I pick the flower, of course. Just showing off. Another chest. Oh, it's two chests. An astounding Must admit, they are, they are kind of leaving nice good. chests on the way, which, uh, you know, it's more about I like to look around for them before, which I really enjoyed uh, looking around, because you get them, you know, new materials and stuff. I do like this kicking thing. I wish that was in Skyrim. Probably a mod that does it. All right, I finished kicking now. Let's continue. <laughs> There's a stone there I could have picked up and th you know, thrown at him. But as you see, this can happen a lot. I wish this was first person, I really do. I'd be really happy. I mean, normally you wouldn't have all these people. Oh, you do get like the flies buzzing around, look at that. You get flies buzzing around, the sound of flies buzzing around. I like, I like all that, I like all those kind of things. But watch out, there's a uh, you know, idiot coming. Let us see what you're made of. Pretty much I don't have to do anything, which is, I'm really liking the fact I don't have to do hardly anything at the moment. So I told you this is a good mission. Well, I didn't actually. But uh, yeah, normally I'd be looking all around the back, you know, all kind of stuff like that. Give up on that one. Oh, here they come. I don't want to be overcome by the uh, sirenness. Fucking tone in on it, that is. Just with that, <laughs> can it a flea? Can I? Harpy pinion, yeah, it's identical stuff in the first one. Uh, what you pick up, Which, it's, not, it's all right, you know, don't mind. Let us defer to I'm kind of a little bit used to it. Is that you say? I can't see. Oh, I think we actually uh, like lock on there, which is really nice. I like that. Possibly, I'm not quite sure if that's locking on. Might be actually. If so, that is great. Ow! Get off! What did I pick an archer for? Wary, <laughs> That's the one thing I shouldn't have done. I should have. Because <laughs> I'm, uh, you know, I can be slightly erratic. Same to you, mate. Same, same to you. Let's 
it safe for celebrations for us. You wait till Magic Archer and then, then things will really get better. Wanna fire through the crowd? So it's, it's looking rather s simple at the minute, isn't it? Oh, I've gone up a level. Great. Yeah, there's far too many of us, really. I'll fire a couple of them. I'll send them off into the, uh, you know, into the uh, void. I've got me a me a trick over that. Plentiful Any chests Don't up here? I'll just have a quick look. Oh, knackered. But um, in the first game, you know, I did use the thing where. Oh, I think my. You're well fond of picking things up. You can't even pick you? up a flower. Uh, you know, you, where I was blinding them and, and covering them in oil and then setting them alight, you know, oh, of course. <laughs> this foe will recoil from flame. Uh, run! <laughs> Get up that rock! You do tend to slide. Uh, you couldn't heal me in a minute, I'm not, I seem to be in severe stress here. I might, I might have to lower the sensitivity a little bit. Yeah, these are a little bit tougher, these. I like the way it screams when you kill them. It's particularly satisfying. Small fang. More for small fangs. Right, let me just actually see if I can combine stuff. Because uh, now that we've got a lot of stuff, we should be able to combine it. It'll give you like choices of what to combine. So if it comes up with these four, then we can combine it with any of these. So and we can choose which one we want. So I could do like, you know, if we get poisoned or something, I could I could create that, uh, and I've got something that will counteract that. Now uh, this one will do health. I, I think the green ones do health. So. Oh, that's some kind of nice fruit. So it's a good idea because it should reduce our weight as well. Rotten sawfish. Oh yeah, rotten sawfish. Oh, I can make a lantern out of it. <laughs> oh, actually, let's make uh, more of those. That's uh, health potions. That's more of that. Right, a bit more. Oops, should have done the other one. Oh, hang on, that was the uh, <laughs> stuff we had to sell. <laughs> Sorry, I may have made a, a, a simple mistake there. Right, I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm carrying a lot, of, a lot of trash. So uh, I'm going to give, give a little bit to them. So I can give them to Prince Cat. Two of them, all right, and some fruit. I'm going to give that to, say, Emma. Share, share, share our load a little bit, and give that one to Fried. And uh, I don't want to give more away because they're mine. But uh, you know, I'll give that to Fried. I uh, know I'm having most of it myself. <laughs> Because I'm the one that loses them the most. There you are. Uh, uh, just a little bit, just to, to pass you by. But you know, I prefer to keep it myself. Right, is that all of it? Right, where to now? Skip. Right. What do you think so far? I mean, people generally have been, are enjoying this. Uh, probably because they like the first one. So that you know. Just look in here a minute. So well, that means I'll, I'll, at least I'll be able to, like, you know, cook the food before it goes off. Yeah, usually it kind of flickers or something just to show that to show that it is something that you can pick up. You know, and that and those kind of like highlight like that. 
Oh, 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 wait a minute. We have a, a bigger, big chest here. I'll go and open the chest. 500 and a soft neck wrap. Let's have a look at the soft neck wrap. Actually, I should be using this. What am I doing using the other stuff? Oh yeah, and this I'm going to give to Prince Cat. All right, and uh, this crummy bow. Well, I can't really. I don't think I can give that to somebody else. No, I can't they, because they have to be the right affinity. You can't give a fighter, you know, a sword to an archer or whatever. But I should be able to use these. So I could, I could. Put, although I'd have to be. Looks like I'm not quite at a high enough level. Or right, what's this? Oh yeah, this is just saying new equipment. Oh hang on, hang on. There was more coming up. Right, that's that thing I picked up. I should be able to equip this, which um it has a debilitation resistance to now I'm not quite sure what these mean yet. Uh, it's only plus one, which isn't great, so uh, but it's it's better than nothing. But man, my character looks really groovy. Am I wearing that? I quit, I'm going to quit that in my right hand. It slightly boosts maximum health. Why aren't I doing that? Yeah, I'll sell that. Right, okay. And I'll worry, I'll worry about the others um, when I feel like it. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit selfish. Right, where to, lads? Look there. Methinks I spy ought of use. Let us ponder how best to proceed. Or well, follow the guy walking that way. <laughs> I don't mind the, the, the talking as long as it's not too much. I could make camp there. Didn't I just make camp? Equip skills without camping. Right, uh, have I asked a point? Did I, uh... Oh, yeah, I've done it all then. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to put that on the top one. Because, <laughs> yeah, I don't want it down there. Right, oh, uh, the others haven't really got anything. That's because, you know, I'm quite happy. I'd cook. Uh, can I cook? No, I think I'd have to make camp and then cook, but uh, let's let's progress. Uh, game, you know, should you know, expand and get a lot better later on. Uh, but this is the kind, I know it's kind of the early part of the game. I think in the first game, you know, when you had to do the ox cart thing, it was all part of the kind of tutorial bit that he he was heading you towards the, the main city, uh, where things really kind of took off, you know. Is that uh, some uh, enemy You're there? You're welcome to take whatever you like from my pack, Master. I'd gladly see you put one Oh no, no, it's just use. somebody uh, hovering by. But at least we have got a jump button. And press the left trigger, you can put away your equipment. And you have a jolly good run. Right, this could be the salubrious uh, things That's we had to sort out. With the eggs or whatever. Or it could be a troll! <laughs> uh, I used to have great fun on the first one because you could climb on them. Uh, we haven't really got like... Because what I could do... I, a cyclops, to think we'd... Is I could... And this is one of the groovy things about this game. Alright. Is I could equip these. Although, oh I can. But I could climb up on his back and I could hack away at him. But uh, as you can see, we're, we're not going to hack away at him. I am going to do the dire shot. Oof, look at that. Look at it. The beast can scarce stand. A well-placed strike ought to send it gazing skyward. I mean, I can't see. It doesn't come up with a reticle, so I presume it's targeting it. 
Or just, you know, it's, it's also targeted then. Ooh, because... I'm out of stamina though. Yeah, you've got to have a certain amount of stamina to be able to do it. Ooh, it's doing some good, that is. Oh, right at the bottom. But you could, like, you know, hit him in the eye and that would, you know, cause him some da damage or, he might, you know, he might... But we'll get a lot better things later on where we can do multiple targets on it and then let them all loose at once. And grab hold of a foe while standing by making contact with them and pressing R2. Once you have got hold of an enemy, you can push or pull them to draw their focus or knock them off balance. Let's try that. <laughs> but obviously you've got to be a bit careful. And you can like hack away at his feet and you will fall over. But of course you've got him in a good position. Although he's dead. Oh no, he's not dead. He's, he's kind of uh, slightly aggrieved. Right, let me... Uh... Hang on, I don't think I'm out of stamina there. We must rally. Panicking will only play to the enemy's advantage. Oh, right out the buttocks. What does that sound? Ooh. Oh, it regens health. Oh yeah, this this uh, this is kind of uh, oh Christ. Oh, hang on. <laughs> that opened up a pathway, obviously. So I do like this stuff. This this big creatures. I had taken you for another force arisen. And these set piece things, which I really like. Yet the value you showed in coming to our aid has dispelled such thoughts. Here. Take this. Is it a better so bow? Give it to one of the sentinels stationed at the gates to the capital, and you'll be granted an audience with Captain Brand. Oh, I'd you're love to have make your own an audience. Now. I see no need to keep you under constant watch, <sighs> and I'm sure you'll breathe a little easier as well. I. Well, I was kind of hoping of you'd come with us. It was really easy. <laughs> you are still welcome to join us on the ox cart. It is your decision. Well, I'll, I'll go with you, because <laughs> I don't have to do much, which is really pleasing me. Although, you know, it does help the fact that, you know, I could probably, you know, level up faster if you weren't with me. But, you know, I could go wandering off into the outer regions, you know, see if there's something, you know, useful, hidden up here, some chest, you know. Ah, uh, and wear myself out in the process. Because I like to go off the beaten track and find all these secret chests and it all goes night time. Ah, the oh, there's the ox and it's going to be night time. This is a bad move. We should have gone to the uh, <laughs> camp now. I want to accompany them because, you know, I want an easy well. ride. The ox cart and we'll be off. It's a coin of phrase. An ox cart ought to make our journey easier. They can be most I'll tell you what, I, I had a very only the day. A very small creature in my first game, you know, really tiny bit, and she's, she was like, really high pitched, so she'd be like, Oh my God, what you know, it was, it, was like, it was ridiculous, it really was ridiculous. Do you want to sit down? We're sitting out, jump on if you've paid. Alright, can I sit down? I can sit down, hang on. <laughs> it's why you know first person comes in handy but a car rides are okay but l look how slow it is <laughs> yeah if, if it give you this option you add this option to just do this great but if it had all you know with a way to skip to the end of the journey that's good that would be, you know that would be that would be good but <laughs> But obviously we get encounters on the way, which would be nice. The time is an ever-flowing river in the world and the activities and behaviours of the influence inhabitants reflect this. People are unlikely to remain in the same place all day long and may only appear in the morning, at night or at midday. To pass the time you may either stay at an inn or make use of one of the special seats found outdoors. In oh, this may be a special seat. I was hoping this could skip because this would help with uh, the fast travel. Come good night, you'll be able to 
come night before you'll be able to see uh, no further on the ground of your, of your feet yeah darkness isn't it it's very very dark so if you haven't got a lamp you'll be hardly better see in front of you on the onset of darkness uh, some of the fearsome creatures not seen by day explore the wilderness after sunset set out your peril and be sure to have a lantern so it's not advisable to go out at night some eyes can kind of change over time such as ripening and growing more flavorful uh, but there are also uh, items that if, if allowed to age long enough will become more useful when combining materials so it's a good idea to combine these things as you know often so that they don't go off However, you should keep a close eye on raw items in particular, as consuming anything that's been aged past its uh, prime is likely to have an unpleasant side effect. So it's always a good idea not to eat rotten food. Certain objects and structures can be destroyed uh, by your attacks. It will regenerate after a separate time has passed. Similarly, fruits, berries and other gatherable flora will grow back after time. Okay. Such a magnificent tapestry of So I could doze off then. Is that your say? Because... I was hoping we do this was gonna do like a you know let, oh let's just go to the journey so I'll just see if I can doze off but we'll probably be woken up by some encounter but let's try it see what happens yeah <laughs> as I thought as I predicted We've need of your aid again, sir. now in the first one when you did this you had to go all the way on around you didn't have the option to nod off so this could be a good, good, good idea. Uh, it does seem uh, it is an improvement on the first one. We are under attack. Oh, no, I'm shooting at nothing, man. I could kick them actually. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah! I'll tell you what, we're a bit of a kicker. <laughs> Yeah, I like to really you know, thump them into the ground. Life. You've my thanks for aiding us. Not a problem. Isn't far from here. Will you join us the rest of the way? Yeah, I think I will. Why not? All right. Into the ox cart. You're a good insurance policy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, first, do you mind if I pick up these scraps? And this course is decomposed, uh, and it's disappeared because we went into a loading sc sc screen a little bit. Do I forget get back on? I'll take that. But we had to do this we all the way and just follow it. You didn't have the option to kind of nod off. So this could be a good thing. And I, uh, but uh, it's, it's nice to have the encounters. Follow my... Oh, right. I like... I like I, right, okay, I take back what I said about cart rides. I thought it would go that slow all the way and would be rather dull. But it is actually progressing as forward. So thank you for that. Because... I haven't seen this. I know they said you could travel by car if it's heading a certain way, but it didn't actually say that it would skip time. Uh, so that has made me feel a lot better about fast travel. But it has to be if there's a car going your way. So I do like that very much. That's a great improvement. Hello there. I am the local heroine. Oh, is it quarter to seven? <laughs> I was well, I didn't realise it's so late. Sorry, my head's in the way. Captain Brandt, this individual summoned a pawn through a rift stone. Several witnesses can attest yes, to it. Yes, I did. Though I admit I had my doubts at first. It would seem this is no mere deceiver. No, no. No, I'm perfectly gorgeous. This one's not a bad sort. Saved our hides on the way here. Yeah, yeah, I did. As decreed by the great will of our world, there can only be one arisen. That I arisen am that now one. resides within the palace. Indeed, he is our sovereign and the rightful ruler of Vermont. What? Well, I'm the other one. It follows, therefore, that this ruffian before us is naught but a pretender. Tis a lie. There's naught in that. You must submit to questioning. If you value your life, you will not attempt to flee. <laughs> I shall conduct the interrogation myself. Stand watch outside. Oh, I'm, I'm liking this. Yeah, okay. I'll, all right, I'll take back what I said. I, that, that is an improvement on the fast travel. Uh, I'll go a little bit longer because I'm really enjoying myself. Uh, 
I've been waiting for it to fall into the trap of the old one, one and it's surprising me. If the That's queen all right, I'll learn of your existence. I fear your life would have been in peril. Really? I had no choice but to treat you as a pretender, lest my actions draw suspicion from watchful eyes. All right. I don't understand. Then you have truly lost your memory? A little bit. In that case, mayhap I ought to explain the situation before we proceed. Mayhap you will. You and no other are the sovereign, the only legitimate ruler of this kingdom. Really? <laughs> if so, that's really true. Some yeah. days passed. You confronted the dragon in the village of Melv, whereupon you became arisen. Exactly, I did, yes. The people rejoice, for our true liege had finally appeared, and in Vermont's long years of council rule. Quite like the fancy, the idea of ruling. Yet, not all celebrated your coming. I'll cut their heads off. Oh, a few months prior. Right, okay. Your arrival would have robbed the Queen Regent Deesa of everything. During the time of the previous council, she acted as a queen in her own right, ruling the palace as she saw fit. And just after the council's passing, when twas all but certain that her son would take his father's place. Word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. To Deesa, your majesty's very existence is naught but an obstacle to her own family's continued prosperity. The assassination of the Arisen is an impossible feat for mortal hands. I know. Thus, Deesa chose to abduct your majesty while you recovered no. from your wounds. In order to rob you of your memory with a fell curse and sell you your to Batara right, as a slave. She's dead. Following that, she prepared a replacement to serve as the sovereign in your stead, a mere puppet. However, with your majesty returned, I have no intention of twiddling my thumbs as Deesa plays her games. Good. I shall devise some plans to further our cause. All right. Pray, visit me a night in a tavern that we might discuss them. <laughs> there are too many. Although he is rather handsome. I'm speaking as the character, not myself. <laughs> and has my permission to remain in the capital. You are to trouble the good sir no further. Are we clear? Okay. Well, I think I did remarkably well. And then what's this? Both Vermont and Batal. Uh, regard the scourge of the dragon as a matter of the utmost priority. Should the baleful, baleful creature uh, uh, alight on either side of the border, both nations are sworn to provide aid, as well as to assist in the evacuation of the populace with scouting missions as needed. In such an event, all troops are expected to put aside any disagreements of faith or culture and devote themselves wholeheartedly to this to their duty. Okay, interesting. You know, people, some people are saying I set that as priority request a minute speak with Captain Brandt in the tavern Captain Brandt in the tavern okay now I wonder if this is the main city if so this is where it all me. I'm in a bit of a kicks hurry. off Concern it. Get back here. oh it's a nice little rack into the rain there What's going on? You there! Did you see an urchin in a cap run past just now? Can you tell me which way he went? Uh, well, the camera swat. I think it was up there. I'll tell the truth. Thought you could hide, eh? Oi! Halt! Get him! There he is! Although, that this could be a good plan. Top, you know, top notch, but it's, it's cool. And some people are saying possible game of the year. I don't know. It 
is a possibility it depends what the others are like but if we look at the map now we are in a very big town and you know it is in better detail than the first one it's still not the greatest map in the world but it's far superior to skyrim so there's a lot of stuff around here so there's the inn so that's what looks like the inn that's we gotta to go to uh second is in so there are a lot of uh, uh places here this is where i think you can sit down your um your you know your uh like pawns and you can say oh no i want you to talk less or do things like that so there's a lot of stuff to visit here and it's good idea to have a look around because there's merchants uh you know dodgy dealers all kinds of stuff uh you know people who can replicate things so you can keep the original ones and uh, make money out of it <laughs> you know what i mean so can i uh, set a waypoint on that let me set a waypoint on that like number two all right so this is a big town so all our head kind of that way to the chest I shall take That's a going out. Let's have, well, let's have a little wander around a minute. And uh, as I say, there's free stuff, so pick it up. So when we get here, there should be a place where you can change vocation and all, all kinds of stuff. So buy, you know, do dodgy this goods, all kinds of stuff, which is all very Perhaps nice. New discoveries uh, await us above. I didn't when I first played it. I didn't know about some of this stuff. I did miss some of it. You'll have to do well to beat today's gossip. All right. <laughs> it's, it's not you know it's not like you know high quality, but it's it's you know it's it's still pretty good. It kind of is you know it functions well. Excuse me, sir. Good day to you. Well, you got nothing. Oh, okay. You're you're busy. So I don't want to wander around because this will unlock all the kind of buildings and things. I've just recalled uh, the little tidbit I heard from the locals. And it's a good idea to if pop in and in you know nick makeup, people's I've stuff. The same. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Tell borrow it. Like that, for instance. There you are. Some ripened grapes. See, see nothing. Nothing. It's not like they're you know they're life savings or anything like that. Although I'd lift that as well if I had the chance. <laughs> so I'm just joking. I don't know what I mean. I'm not, you know, That's not going to do anything like that. Any ideas as to how we might reach it? Can I jump through the window? I can jump through the window. I say, uh, do you mind if I uh, come into your shop and get a bit cosy? I've all manner of arms for sale. Come, have yourself a look. All right. Uh, you could enhance. Uh, could you enhance my uh, equipment? Because I would love that. Because I did this in the first game. You can, yeah. So I'll, my bow, for instance. See, I want my bow. I want to enhance it. It's cost you money, of course. But you know, we're rolling in it now. All right. So we've gone up a level now. To get the next level, we need rabbit pelt, which we haven't got. But is that what I have? Oh, I say that's uh so it's gonna cost me a little bit but you know no rabbit belt so and uh, knives may as well do that so let's do that what's that say there the oh the weight carrot is going down oh, for a minute I thought that was it's um you know how much damage it did I was gonna say <laughs> I was almost uh so we we could go two on that although I'll keep that because um I would like it on something else, but I would like that. You know, my miner's shirt is terrible. In fact, I'm going to buy a miner's shirt because, you know, that's 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 terrible. Uh, have you got any shirts? Oh, you you weapon man. All right. You're a weapon man. All right. Right. Does it say that on the map? Yes, okay, so uh, yeah, what well, it's good idea to wander around because it'll unlock you know, all the shops. Uh, 
So I, t I tend, you know, when I, when I went and drank as dogma, I walked around the whole place so that it would, you know, unlock all the shops. So, you know, I knew what was the armour. Welcome to Bjorn's Armoury. And quality is what you need if you want to survive. Oh, just so oh, all right. Price. All right, let's see what you got. Oh. <sighs> right, okay, now, some of this stuff is very expensive, as you can see. So let's, let's, uh... Not nice, but uh, I do like the fact we can, you know, rotate our character. Missed that in, you know, Oblivion. That was great, but you know, this is a lot of money. And but you know, you could go like that, you see, and that would tell me how much it is. Yeah, we could easily afford that. But let's not, you know, let's let's see what we have first, because you know, we probably prefer light armor, really, wouldn't we? So it goes sixty-six to eighty-eight. That would go higher, but I don't want plate armor, and that would make me slow. Uh I think that's more for elemental stuff. So and it tells you the vocation, which is fighter. Uh, the, the one next to it with the hammer, that is an advancement on the uh, fighter. So you'd have to have that vocation, all right? But I'm, I'm going to go for, say, the, the, this one, because this could improve us quite a bit. Uh, and it's also going to have a resistance. So I'm going to spend 3,000 on that. Oh, although, wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute there on second thoughts. Let's have a look at all of them because I'm impressed with the Ranger one and that one. But in this game, yeah, you need to buy stuff. So, you know, from mages, all sorts. I do like well, the one that had the highest, highest affinity there, which was. 88, 102, 131, and how much is that? 12,000! Wow, that's, that's oh, God, oh, yeah, God, that looks nice. I mean, God, I love that. I mean, I probably can't afford that. No, I can't really afford that. But I, I'm going to whip everything on that. <laughs> Remember? I would like to buy some more because you know I have some other other uh, you know other friends. Yeah, you know, I don't want to spend it all on me, although I'd love to. Let's. Uh, although he's he's well kitted out. Although although he um, he's not right. Okay, let's get some bit better for him then. You know we want him to go in there, rip the heads off. So uh, what's that? <laughs> oh, I can't see his cuddly face. I do like to see his face. Plate armor and plate armor. I mean, it make him heavy, and he carry less probably. I mean, that's. I better leave a little bit of change because I want to do a little bit on each. Oh, wizard's hat as well. Great. I'll tell you what. We'll just we'll do that one. I think you can actually do multiple things. Actually, yeah. What I should be doing is um. Is you know selecting them all at once and buying them all in one go. So let's uh, let's uh, <laughs> this is, sorry, sorry. Right. Just... <clears throat> so uh, it's caught me. It's caught me by surprise there over there. Beautifulness. It's it's got a lot of money in it. It's going up gradually. Should probably do it with a nice cap. Uh, I don't think she's the right level, or she's not the right affinity for that. But I'll tell you what, a nice leather cap. It's a lot of money, isn't it? What about 2,000? <laughs> yeah, anything that's red means it's, it won't fit that character because it's the wrong vocation. I don't know, I don't know. Where, I mean, yes, go on then. I mean, we'll make loads of money. Oh, I just did what I said I wouldn't do. All right, and then the last one. Frida, I mean, Frida, Frida definitely needs uh, something really good. But right, let's, let's, let's do the armor. Can't afford that. No, she can't have any of it. So it's got to be a mage item. That's not much. But that's too much. But I mean, that's that's a, that's a, a large improvement. I, I'm gonna go. All, oh no, I can't afford that. I can afford that one. 
I know I'm busting everything on this, but I'll probably do. Although I don't know, I might get her a better staff. Although this is all... Oh, what's this? 6,000. <laughs> I think that'll do for now. We've got a nice upgrade. I'd, I'd enhance the equipment for them. <clears throat> uh, I wonder if I can afford it. I can. Right, let's uh, let's do at least do something. Oh, we can do that one. Right, okay, okay. Let's. Uh, what do I need? Oh, oh we've just got to pay. I don't mind spending spend it right now. We need a saurian tail, which we haven't got. Uh, beast. See, I could could give her that. Right, let's see. What else can I do for him? Foot shoulders armor. I know. Yeah, I think that needs a beef up. How much money? <laughs> I've got very little left. At least he's my main guy. You know, I trust him implicitly. Oh, that's a better one there, is it? <laughs> I won't fall too. Well, let's enhance this guy. I want him to be, you know, full, full, full trim. No, don't want that. And uh, me, well, I just want a jolly good flute. Yeah, let's invest in that. I'm running out of money rapidly. But I need something. I think I'll do for a minute. Because uh, I'm skinned. <laughs> Basically, and and I think we'll uh, we'll finish there, because now 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 we're, now we're beefed right up. Look at that, look at that. Doesn't that look beautiful? Look at that. Now we look really kitted out for next week, where we can really rip this town apart. So I think that'll do for today. I hope you enjoyed it today. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm I'm, uh, I'm warming to it now that those you know something that. Uh, you know, something that I wasn't sure about has been confirmed that it does skip time, which is great. But uh, So that, that's really good. I'm glad about that. That's given me a little bit more enthusiasm now. Uh, just trying to leave you a count. Six thumbs up so far. It regains health. All right, OK. Uh, that's what happens when you go off and explore. Time passes. Right, so yeah, I'll, yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. So thank you all for coming in. I, I'll just check out I got everybody. Uh, I think I did. So thank you all for coming in. Hope you enjoy. We're going to do this. Uh, we'll do Elden Ring next week, but then we'll probably do um, this one. But we'll probably move more to this one because this is more to my liking than Elden Ring, which is pretty hard. But I want to do Elden Ring next week because I want to try out getting that timing more perfect. Because perfect. if you get the timing right on Elden Ring, that does a lot of the work for you. And I've seen somebody with a much lower level than me beat Margit you know, after, after I've died a few times, but she was really good at getting the timing right, and so that enabled her to, to get through way before I, I did. So I got to try that next time. So I want to thank these people for coming in. Thank you for coming in, Ghost57. Thank you very much, and uh, you can probably help me a lot better on this game because it's a bit more our kind of game. Thank you, Sweeney Todd, for coming in as well and coming out. It's really nice of you. Thank you. Thank you to PBD2KI. Thanks for coming in. I uh, hope you like this new game. Uh, Morgana as well. Thank you for coming in, Morgana. I don't know if you played this, but uh, you know, hopefully we'll have fun. Uh, let me just pause that a minute while I look at my attractive ca uh, character. <laughs> uh, thanks to I Ikea from... Uh, I'm not sure where you're from. I should have asked you that. Uh, thank you for coming in with an underscore 10 after it. And to Jeffrey Giordano, thank you for coming in. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's a new sort of game we're going to play, which is a bit more like our style. Um, I'll probably combine a few things off off, off screen, all right. And and you know, but I won't. I'll, I'll maybe just go around the town uh, and just unlock a few places so that I can look on the map and I know where the armor is and all that. So I might just do that. Uh, but I'll see you all next time, and uh, we'll progress the story. Thank you all for watching. Uh, it's nice to be back i must admit i have missed streaming uh i just didn't feel in the right frame of mind i was a bit down 
So uh, hopefully, you'll, you know, thank you for being patient. Um, and uh, we're, we're sort of kind of back to normal now, I think. So Saturday will be Skyrim. Okay, good luck, Ghost, with Skyrim. Uh, I'm glad you got it working again. Mine, I, I can't really do anything about it because when, when it corrupts, it just says OK. As soon as you press that, you can't save or anything which could maybe fix it. I can't do that. It just says OK and then stops. Uh, and usually it crashes at the same time. So, uh, But at least my load order is now stable. Uh, and yours seems to be OK as well. So I'm really good about that. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye, everybody. And uh, guess what? I'll see you later. Bye, thank you for watching, and please hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. Thank you. Bye for now. Bye. It is great to be back. Uh, yeah, I, I'll tell you what, Ghost, uh, I have thought of doing that, and, go, uh, and Queen did suggest that, so I might do that. Um, it shouldn't retain. I, I'm just hoping it doesn't get rid of my mods. If it does get rid of my mods, please uh, let me know or, or send me a note because I, I don't want it to delete the mods that I had installed on it and redo them all again because it doesn't actually, when I ask it to load from Bethesda, it doesn't actually download them all and they're all messed up. Uh, but you're not sure about consoles, yeah. Yeah, w w If I think if I uninstall it, it's going to re-download it, but not in order, and it's going to be a complete mess again. I'll have to reorder it again, and I'm uh, a little bit tired of doing that. And that really is what's made me a little bit down, is because I'll keep having to reassemble my old load order. So uh, I won't risk it for a minute. I'll just stick with it for a minute and then see if I can progress. All right, so thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. If, if nothing else, write down your load order. Yeah, I might have to do that, Ghost, but... You know, I, you know, I've got 150 something th things. The last thing I want to do is to put those in over and over and over again and reassemble them over and over again. I'm sick and tired of doing it, guys. I've done it so many times now. I'm fed up with it. <laughs> so uh, I don't know. I, I'm just a little bit annoyed, and it almost makes me want to stop playing it uh, on Xbox. All right, but thank you for uh, for coming. And uh, I'll see you all next time. And uh, bye for now. And we'll talk about Sky a bit more on, on Saturday. Bye for now. Don't forget, AON Saturday at past three. Bye for now. Bye.